And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with part two. Part two of Behind the Circus of Bombs for Breakfast, which is a no shit, no no storyline, no BS, no anything. This is the nitty gritty behind the scenes of what we do and what we love to do. Exactly. And at the end of the last video, I said I had a little rant, so I'll start with it. And yes, not, let's, let's get right into it's, it. Because it's not so, because you all know suspense, so this no, is going to be another yeah. long one, so we've got to give you something to... we got to give you something to hang on to, and then you guys can click off, whatever. No, it's just, um, you know, I was thinking the other day how, you know, backyard wrestling is obviously frowned upon. Um, what we do is a little bit not, you know, as... No, it's more it's more independent than than um, it's more thought it's out. more thought out than backyard I and mean, backyard essentially is we're more of a stunt show I like to put it that way okay like you know we're we've got our Broadway stage we're doing a one take show oh yeah um, whereas they're just kind of applying what they know and putting each other through Two lights what, and yeah, whatever. what they ever can think of. So, I, I get the 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 anger towards that, but you know, and the main thing is people keep attacking us because we don't have a ring or whatever. Yeah, I, I yet yeah, and I get it, and I get it. But I've I've kind of like on my own kind of branded. Well, Daniel came up with the term that we're the best wrestlers to never step foot inside of a real wrestling ring, and you've sold sold it and quite well. I. I just kind of, I believe it. I, I, you know, like I, I believe it that that that's us as Bonds for Breakfast because we put our heart and soul into it. We're not doing it to look cool. We're not doing it to, you know, we love it, and you know, and people don't really accept us as you know the whole wrestling, you know, whatever, just because it's kind of different. Yeah, which leads me to. You know, TNA say. Okay. They start off different. They had a six-sided ring. Yeah. It's not. Sure. It's not traditional wrestling. No. So it's like I. I kind of put us, like, kind of like that. We're doing wrestling, but it's, it's different. It's innovative. It's innovative. It's it's. We're doing it on. We're not doing it on cushioned mats. We're doing it. You know, it's still a sheet of wood with, a bit padding. of foam and padding. Um, and then you look at something like Lucha Underground, which is again not traditional wrestling because it's they're basically making a drama show. Yeah. Like, series. A, a, a more series. Or less, yeah. It's 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 it's, 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 a, it's, it's a TV show. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's a, a TV, TV show. show. It's very, it's 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 very thought out. Yeah. It, it much like a TV show. So I kind of put us in kind of not saying we're as good or as. You yeah. know, whatever. I kind of put us in that class of innovation, though, because right now our selling point is okay. Yeah, we wrestle. Just we do, we do we happen to do it without a ring. We have no ring, uh, no no walls to contain us, more or less. Yeah, we we don't. It's not that we don't need the twenty by twenty. It's just or that whatever. or whatever. It's just that we're able to do what we love to do without one, and. I just needed to kind of get my no. my voice out on that, and no. it, it, I'm I'm not never trying to be disrespectful, um, in the sense of, oh, we're doing this, and you know, and I think you mentioned it in one of your videos that's yeah. still unlisted that we're settling. We're not no. settling. No, uh, it, we're, no we're, sure. we're we're turning nothing into something, you know, and it, it, it's t it's been a long road, and it's not it's never been like. It's it's it, I just never felt we had that backyard mentality. We always had a mentality that we will grow. Eventually we'll get the ring, but until we do, let's use uh, you know this catchphrase or gimmick or whatever you want to call it and, you know, have that defy what we do. And at the same time continuing to uh work on what we do know, mm -hmm. making it better. Yeah going as far as we can because by the time we do get a ring mm -hmm. it, our shows are going to be explosive yeah I, I I truly believe that and you know there's already people that express interest in wanting to do it and some of them won't because we don't have a ring but once we do 
there is no excuse for people that don't want to yeah and jump in if they don't want to do it then just say it don't want to yeah. do it and we're never going to force anyone into no. doing it and never all, have and we never have uh, if somebody wants to do it we'll obviously we'll we'll let almost anyone try out um, but yeah no that's just that's just my kind of view on it and how I I, I kind of just kind of like I said I'm not saying we're anywhere near them it's just no. I put us in that um class of innovation we're not traditional no we're not not quite backyard we're not quite backyard but at the same time neither is a six-sided ring and neither is a tv drama it's not traditional in in a way how how we've been over geez how many years now for bombs for breakfast five yeah yeah 2011 yeah yeah five in, in almost five years i would consider as much as um, what we do without a ring, we're outside the box. We're almost a classroom. Yeah. That's not like that. That we we teach each other. Wrestling. A classroom that teaches itself almost. Like we, I mean, we. It, it goes more to than what I was talking about the the previous video where it's like where you were kind of learning as the match goes. Now we're at a point where, okay, we know how to do it, but now it's it's kind of fine tuning um, our own abilities. Of course, if we went to a school, it'll be a completely different experience. Oh, it's like yeah. wow, like you know, we'll learn how to do things differently. Yeah, eventually, I I wouldn't mind going down that route. Yeah, absolutely. Like. I do want to go down that route, and, you know, maybe have a have a match in ECCW and ASW and, or you know any of the Ws. <laughs> a- any of our local yeah, yeah, would be yeah, quite and, cool. and one of my and the one thing I've, I I, I kind of whether it's better for me or good for me, I really don't want to do it without you because. <laughs> And it's not that, like, I don't, I can't do it without you. It's just, I feel if I go... That far. If Well, yeah, if I go that far and if I teach, talk to one of their executives, sit down, talk to me, I've got 20 years of history right here. We can make a match out of it. And if you guys market it properly, you and I can put butts in seats. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, th- th- that's one of the reasons. Is like I, I, I can't do it without. No, I, I totally agree. Like, when thinking if, if we had to do the BC circuit or anything, mm-hmm. if it was you and me going up and down this fucking province or across the country or mm-hmm. whatnot, it would fucking be a killer. You and I on the road. Oh fuck! I mean, it's it's. Edging Christian, pretty much. I mean, they grew up together, and me and Corey grew up together, and it just, you know, it it's something that we are aspiring to do. Whether we do it um, the traditional way, or whether we create our own own door and break it down, which we've been trying you know, we've to been do. Trying to do, and to our credit, we've gotten. Um, you know, we've gotten a decent following in the sense of people know we wrestle. Yeah. People ask us often, okay, what are you guys doing next? When's the next kind of thing, yeah. you know? So even people online, like, uh, which I know the free-for-all kind of thing's over, but I don't classify my match with Paul as a free-for-all kind of thing, even though it was the FFA for, title. For the title. But it, it kind of was its own thing. It was like the final lingering bit for the um, free-for-all thing and then we were kind of going towards BFB without even knowing it yeah because I think you may have had something planned yeah at that at that actually you know I think we had already done one BFB match yeah before that match yeah, I believe so. Because, because that, when was a, that was 2011, yeah. Because I think I did maybe two two or three. Yeah. By the time you did your Paul. Match with Paul. And, um, yeah, we, we did because it was kind of a, 
that's where I felt the rivalry, and I, I did it with a smile on my face. Um, where yeah, I showed up. Uh, I I don't mean to cut you off because yeah. I, I remember I showed up. I think it was with uh, Chris Williams. Um, and my dad. I know your dad was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I don't think Eric Cran was there. I know it had to have been Chris Williams. That Cran, Cran wasn't there. Uh, I don't know if Williams was. I know your dad was for sure. Yeah. But um, we'll get to that yeah. match. Uh, let's uh, let's let's talk about the the very beginning, the tag team. Uh, well, due into the lead up to uh, bombs for breakfast, the creation of it. Um, after being injured. I went through six months saying, okay, I'm done. I, I have a kid. I have yeah. an injury. Yeah. My kid needs money. I, that's all on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. If I'm injured, I can't supply. Mm -hmm. So for six months, I was like, I'm done with this. This, this cost me. People fucking kicked me off, kicked me to the side. If this is how I'm going to get treated, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm yeah. gone. Then... Uh... As the months got by, again, all of a sudden, I, I my body was like kicking in. It's like, okay, this is the time to start training, start getting ready for a match now. This is this is your time. And it's like trying to tell my body, no, I'm done. And then uh, I was playing with my daughter, and uh, I was just trying to get it out of my system. And I was like doing wrestling moves to her. Protecting her every which way, and yeah. my my girlfriend at the time freaking out. It's like, look, she's not hurt. Just, just, I'll, I'll cut you off there, guys. If anybody's thinking, oh, abuse. No, this guy's one of the best fathers I have ever seen. So, fuck you if you guys <laughs> think uh, he's abusing his kid. No, oh, she <laughs> abuses me more than freaking yeah. I have ever done to her. No, no, she's coming after me. <laughs> We've established that, but yeah. there was that one cute picture at the at the uh, out, at outdoor the backyard. Event. Yep. Yeah, where we're just kind of talking, and somebody took like the picture. picture, and it's like, and I just beat up daddy too. Yeah. And we're, we'll, we'll, also we'll get to that. that. We'll get to that. It was just it just needed to be mentioned that that this guy yeah. is a fucking good dad. Uh, well, I try. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still no, mad. No, I don't. Hey, I'm hey, still hey, mad. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> We're only like 12 minutes in. You can't be mad. <laughs> don't get mad if you're getting mad. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, then all of a sudden it was like, no, the bug is there. And I, I was telling, I, I was like with Cran and Eric Cran, working at VIP Soap, mm -hmm. and I was with Chris Williams and everybody, they are like, oh, you used to wrestle? Yeah, tucked my ankle over. Yeah. And then they, they're like, well, is it online? And I was, yeah, I, I can Facebook you it and everything else. And they're like, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I used to do that in high school. And I was like, oh, yeah, really? You yeah. still want to? <laughs> well, what do you mean? I'm like, do you want to try? Like, I I no, I said I quit, but um, I um, mean it was always on the mind, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I I, I couldn't stop. Uh -huh. And uh, Williams expressed interest, and in he was like, you, "You know what? Yeah, I used to Matt wrestle. Like I, I can do this. I have an injury, but I'm like, dude, if you have an injury, we can work around it. We can yeah, you. Yeah. We, we can talk it out. We can." Show you things and everything else. And I was like, oh, okay, so what? Do I fight you? And I'm like, uh, there's only one guy I could trust to carry. Because I'm injured, I'm rusty now, and I'm pretty much back down to square one. Mm. And I was contacting you. I'm like, dude, if I put on a wrestling match, would you show up? At first, you you blew me off. You're like, no, sorry, I, I'm done with that. I'm I'm working with the Bond Chan stuff yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. everything else. I'm like, okay, fine. And what an asshole. <laughs> but then I was thinking, okay, friggin', how long did it take me to get a match with you? I had to constantly bug you. Yeah, yeah. And I had to figure out, okay, I have to play you like Thriller would play Vic. You you really had to sell. I had to you sell. Had to sell it. But you had to do it in a way where I would listen. Yeah. 
And I pretty much threw everything at you. I'm like, dude, you can even win. I don't even care. I just, I want to start it off on a good note, and you're the only guy I can trust. Yeah. And it, I don't care. You can get Dan, you can get Paul, you can get anybody you want. I have a guy that knows Matt Wrestle. Mm -hmm. So I can see you two and, and doing I, a really and, good and I spot. I think that was the selling point for me. Yeah. Where, uh, where I was like, okay. At, at first you're like, well, maybe. I'm like, better yet, I can get you to talk to him face to face. Us three, or if you have somebody in mind for being a partner, all of us, let's meet at KFC, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll hash it out. If you tell me no, uh -huh. I will drop it right, right then and there. Right there there, yeah. You're like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the time. And we cut the promo then. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, I, I brought a camera, because I knew, I was like, okay, this is on my dime. Uh, I need a camera, I need this, I need that, so I was slowly plotting it out. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend at the time was hating me for it because I was spending money. Um, I, I brought the camera. I, I let you knew up straight up. Look, if this is gonna fly, mm -hmm. if you're cool with it, what, let's let's get the ball rolling as yeah. fast as we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you and Chris Williams uh, worked worked really well. Yeah, we, we we hit it off. Like we we were joking already. We were. You know, and then we cut the promo. And I want to credit BFB for this, because prior to BFB, I was a very serious wrestler. I was never sense of humor. I was very yeah you're you're angry or. The, but the promo with Williams, it, it changed a lot because I remember being goofy and very funny with it. You you brought the the Shawn Michaels inspiration yeah, 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 out more yeah. in. In that first in, in promo. That, in that first promo, and I remember, uh, because a, a, I was much smaller than him. Oh, yeah. So, and, and Sean's always been so much smaller than everybody's fought. So, I just remember... And, and, and you were bigger than me, at the, and you still are. Yeah. But it, it was interesting, because how it all started is because you, you were like, oh, you, you can have anybody. I can still kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, well, you're making fun of this guy. Yeah, yeah. But, anyways... Yeah, no, I just remember that one part where he was just like, yeah, go to the gym, and I like to just, just, just be on people, you know, that, that Williams is saying that, and I just w did this, and I walked out to him, and then you go, who the fuck do you think you are? I'm like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was pure, purely class. Well, when you started, like, trying to beef yourself up, yeah. instantly I was thinking Triple H and Scott Steiner, because when they were <laughs> doing the phones <laughs> off, and they're like... Which, by the way, <laughs> Triple H was cut as fuck at that time, but Papa Pump was... Still had massive size. He, he had massive size, but he... <laughs> 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 but no, like, that, again, that was improv. Yeah, yeah. We we kind of mapped out what we were going to do, like we, the we, chase and the, everything. The chase and the, the whole, um, hey, Tiny, come here. Yeah. Yeah, I called like a two hundred and twenty pound, six foot dude, tiny, <laughs> and tripod. And, 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 yeah, <laughs> he was our tripod, and yeah. and then you took over as the the, the camera, camera guy, because yeah, because I, I I named him as my partner. Yeah, and he he kind of liked the and, idea, and, and it's funny because according to the story, you took some random guy off the street. Yeah. Uh, and this and is that, and and he tried to back me up by saying, "Oh yeah, he's badass, but you, man, yeah. fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> and, and here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. He is, at the time, the most hateable guy in wrestling. Whatever. In in my character's mind, who the hell is he gonna be? Who's he, who's he gonna get as a tag team partner? My ass was so annoying and so <laughs> fucking stupid that this guy got a random guy yep. off the street, the first person he sees to be his partner. <laughs> I just found that, I just always right. found that, that... That cool. aspect, you again, you would never see on TV because for a random guy, there was more to it. And yeah, sure, he was more to it. He was thought out and everything. Yeah, but, but but in the sense like you would never see a camera guy being like, he's my next partner. What are you gonna say about that? Yeah. Because if it if it is, 
he's probably been in the indies, and you know who he is to some extent if it was to happen on TV. Yeah. In our case, we brought in fresh blood. <laughs> literally, <laughs> never had a match. Never, you know, he had amateur wrestling um, under his belt. Um, but yeah, we we went forward with that. Uh, he chased me, and there was a, a old right. man, the no, no, the homeless the guy, guy inside the dumpster. And Williams pounded both the both the dumpsters. And there was this one guy in there who was homeless, and he poor guy looks so oh. free. And and <laughs> and me and Williams walk out of there just laughing our asses off, like. Yeah, I cut the camera just before, before you could we... start hearing the laughter come out, and as soon as I cut, and all of a sudden you guys come out laughing, and it was like, dude, what happened? It took you guys like three minutes to get your breath to actually <laughs> tell me we scared the shit out of this guy over here. And I'm like going over there. I'm like, there is no guy here. He's like, yeah, because he hides. Yeah, out of there. you're like, you see that guy running <laughs> over there? <laughs> go, go get an interview with the camera guy. But yeah, no. And then uh, I was starting to come up with ideas for the for the match because I haven't been wrestling at all either. Uh, the last match we did was that ladder match, street fight yeah. winner takes the title out. So uh, I'm the FFA champion. Didn't put the title on the line because we don't know where we were going with this uh, um, whole whole thing. project. I don't even know if Bombs for Breakfast was a name yet. Um, it might have been. I don't I'm know. pretty sure it was. Okay. So it just wasn't really more pronounced right. at, at this time. And we like we didn't know where we were going in terms of like championships and stuff, so I decided let's not put the title no, on the line. I'll bring, and, and, and I'll bring I, it yeah. so there's some credibility. Okay, you are a champion here. and everything, yeah. And um, so we, I, I came up with the idea, okay, let's have me be my own tag team partner, but we'll have stuff where, like, you know, um, Rev, William is wrestler name is Rev. Rev. It's, you know, he ends up turning on you because he doesn't like, he didn't explain the rules to him properly or something. And then, you know, when the referee's out, I bring Dan in. Yeah. And those were ideas I had instead of having Dan as a legit tag team partner because he didn't want to wrestle no. after the whole ribs thing. Uh, so I said, why don't you just come in and do a couple spots? And he ended up taking a lot more than a couple, a couple spots. spots. Yeah. He, he, he took a few bumps. And, you know, Paul was there as a photographer. Yeah. And um, I, I don't know. Which, which was a little interesting because um, I, I know setting up the whole meeting and everything I told you hey look if you invite these guys I, I'm cool with it yeah I, I won't bring any heat to and to the place I try and do how I was when I was with you guys totally respectful business is business what that shit was was that shit and it's left for a later date right right and I think I also messaged Paul and Dan prior, prior to, to that, that saying hey look I'm just to let you know, I'm being upfront. I'm not gonna start shit. I'm not gonna be mad at you guys. I'm not gonna make snipe comments. Yeah. This is a calm place. This is me starting fresh. I appreciate you guys showing up. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good time. And and they, they, you know uh, they 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 had fun and we had fun. Um, I believe I took that match. Yep, yeah, you took the win. Cause um. You know, our first ever match, you got the win. Yeah. Then the first ever match for BFB, I get the win. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, my first tag team loss, too. Yeah, yeah. And then that leads us to a couple of events I wasn't a part of, right? Yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I, I'll I, those I, off for this part, so... Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. A after that, um, Clayton came in. Yeah. Because... He, he saw what I was doing, and he's like, yeah, I, I kind of roughhouse with guys and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, well, what are you doing? And he was like, oh, I throw them around. And I was like, dude, you can throw me anywhere you want. Yeah. And uh, he's like, well, then how would I come in? And I'm like, well, you just saw me lose. So for this aspect, pretty much people can come out of the woodwork at this aspect and be new and be like, you know what? This guy here yeah. is nothing. Uh, anybody can beat you up. It's like, okay, fine, I'll, as Thriller, I will accept all challenges. Mm. 
Clayton came in. Uh, I believe I took that match because I was like, you know what, you're green. I I have I, I I have experience and it just would not look right, but I will give you spots and it's high, it's high high parts for it's the like thing. the time honored tradition, right? You, you come in and you 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 know we're not gonna make you look like shit. You get your you get your moves in, but you get you your know, feet wet, you know. But you know don't don't get a. You're not going to be the, like the the main guy right off the bat, right? No. We gotta we gotta ease you in and um, what event? Okay, so that event happened, and then the next one was with Joker. Joker, yeah. Because I remember the clay pot one. I invited you. You're like, no, I'm busy that day. I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. I invited you. The offer's still there, just in case if your plans go south. Right. Yeah, right, something right, to right, do. Right. 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 I was like, yeah, okay, fine. And then uh, I think about uh, three, four months after that, I was working with Eric Cran, and him and I were going back and forth while we were working, and uh, I was telling him, yeah, hey, look, you, you want to do this? And he was like, yeah, sure. Again, I invited the invite to you and whatnot, and he's like, yeah, I, I know I know Pravi. And I was like... Oh, you know, you know Pravi, and he's like, "Yeah, fuck, I used to live down the street from him." Well, you don't know, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you watch yourself now. But no, that event, um, that that was a good event for me, me and him, in an aspect of overall. Me personally, as a character, it was not good in me trying to do more. Okay. Um. Pretty much all all that match was him. All that right, match was right, him. Right, right, right. Um, he did really well. Didn't sell. He didn't sell a lot. But again, this it, it all falls back to how I was with free for all three with uh, X and everything. We didn't have anything recorded, so we couldn't see. So um, that's why I was telling Eric. I'm like, if you don't sell good, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll, walk, it'll, 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 once you, you watch, it. you'll actually make mental notes being like, hey, look, this is, no, this is, no, this was good, this is, no, yeah. and everything else. And uh, that that match, uh, that event, I, I remember inviting you. Um, you didn't show up right away. Was that the... That's the one when you, <laughs> you showed up, like, I think... 15 minutes oh, into my match. Oh, and that was the one where uh, Thriller for President? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. The sign, right? Yeah. Me and Dan showed up. And, um... Yeah. What was Claypot's role in that? Cause I remember he was the ref. Okay, because I remember he threw a chair at me. Yeah. I got mad and I threw it right back. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I remember because Clay was like... He gave me a great storyline. Yeah. Though. <laughs> yeah, actually, that was kind of the start of the yeah. ongoing rivalry right now that's been so many years in the making now. Oh, yeah. It's like... But... He threw a chair at me. And, uh, <laughs> that event was uh, Anywhere Falls match. Yeah. And literally, me and him went everywhere, everywhere. because I told... Eric, I'm like, let's use the whole place. I'm paying almost 200 bucks mm -hmm. to be here. Let's use the whole fucking place. I don't care where we're going. We'll go upstairs. We'll go downstairs. We'll do everything. And then I and remember uh, the coach. Wait, that was the one where I showed up with uh, Uncle Jalapeno. Because I was involved in that match, wasn't I, at the very end? I super kicked uh, Claypot. And then I suplex Cran, then I super kicked you, and I stormed off. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, you saw me get beat up. Yeah. By both. Yeah. Uh, Clay so Pot there and was Cran. an event that happened that I showed up again, and that was with Dan that I showed up, and it was um, Thriller for President. President. And that's where I got the chair thrown at me. I didn't come to the. I think it was the Winter Bash. I didn't come to. Um, where you had the two girls at the end fighting, okay. uh, like the bonus match. 
Yeah, you didn't show up for that I one. I wasn't there for there, that. But I know you were there for the crown one. Because I remember you, at the end you were telling me that it felt like an indie match. Yeah. Yeah. And to me that was like, wow, I, I really came that far for you that I've always had your one step up on me at every, every time. Like when we did the elimination, it was, you were still one step up on me. Yeah. And... It, um I don't know. I think you closed the gap definitely at the outdoor event. That's when I thought I. That's why I say it's one of my favorite matches because it, too bad we kind of didn't have a proper turf to kind of do it on. We, if we didn't have the mat slider on, it might have been better. But uh -huh. I, I feel like it was just two dudes that knew what they were doing going at it. And yeah, we were we were tumbling. We were the moves were smooth. We were doing you know back suplexes, rolling out. It was just it was a, one of those matches where the chemistry and everything were there. Were, were there. It was just it was. Well, we're still getting ahead of ourselves though, because that that's after the battle royal. Oh, we can't get ahead to no. the we can't get past. We we, the battle we can't royal. we can't miss the battle royal. So because other than the first match. For BFB, I haven't wrestled. No. Um, but I'm here for the battle royal, and that's what that's what sparked it was. Uh, Cran and uh, Claypot beating you up. Yeah. And I said, okay, you guys don't want to listen to me to tell you to stop beating them up. Okay, I'm gonna enforce Versus. this. I'm gonna yeah. enforce this match, and I got I got in, and I remember thinking, okay. This is me. Dan's not coming with me. Paul's not no, coming with me. No, this is all you. It's all me. I I I felt it, it, like it, it, I felt like, like you. Me. I was like four. I'm I'm in the lion's den. Like everyone there, they're more or less. Yeah, they know me, but they're with Corey. They're Corey's guys. And part of me was absolutely like, okay, what am I getting myself into? You know. Like, yeah. And, but another part of me was like, okay, if I'm doing this, I want to go full force with this. After this match, I want to keep doing matches. Yeah, I remember you telling me. You're like, I, I don't want to do a whole lot. I want to save myself for after this. I'm yeah. like, well, what do you mean after this? And he's like, well, I want to take you up on your offer. Yeah. But at the time, I never, ever wanted to be champion. No, you, I, you, I, I, I rarely, you asked me a few times and I declined a few more. Yeah, <laughs> and um, but it, we'll get to that. Yeah. It's just it's just easy. We've got so many stories. Course, it's easy yeah. to just get lost in them. Battle okay. Royal. Battle I'm, Royal. I'm the enforcer, not referee, because your dad was referee. Yep. So I was enforcer. We had a bunch of guys that have never really done anything. Yeah. In terms of wrestling, you know, they obviously mess around with their friends. We've got a bunch of other guys that have cut promos and just didn't show up. Yeah. Um, I think a couple of them showed up intoxicated. I don't know to what ext uh, extreme it was, but... Yeah, um, there was alcohol, there was green stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's that, that was a given that day. Um, yeah, yeah. That whole day, though, I was hanging out with Cran, and uh, I kept looking at him. I'm like, dude, I'm I have a bad feeling about today. I just I can't put my thumb on it. So, for your own safety, dude. And and this event, I was like, look, I have a belt. You're walking out because you did so well fighting against me. Right. And having a guy that I fought for two years say that our match was like an indie match. I'll, I, I'm i running this company, it wouldn't look good for me having the belt. You made that match, mm -hmm. you should walk out this event with the title. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, you should be champ. So the whole day we're like hanging out, uh, he was drinking, um, I, I was taking pictures with him with the belt, and then I was doing his face paint, I was doing his brother's face paint, do my face paint. You're just makeup artist. I, I was...
man, I was almost camera guy that day too. <laughs> <laughs> um, that whole day, it just it felt weird because um, I had so many people up and up in the air to show up, and then power went out in my area. Oh fuck! So I had no internet. I had nothing. It was a stormy night that night, yep. wasn't it? Yeah. It was a stormy day, and both both me and Eric were like, "Fuck this! This day feels." Off. off it, it yeah. totally does not feel right and it's like you know what dude do what you can be safe mm -hmm. protect yourself don't worry about other people and he's like well I got my little brother I'm like dude you know how I am I'll look out for you I'll look out for your little brother I'll make sure he doesn't get hurt and his mom made me swear up and down nothing gets hurt with him I'm like mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. I will ensure that and I think I told you that too. If you see anything happen to Cran's little Cran, yeah, baby Cran, yeah, yeah, yeah. S stop it. And uh, going into it, we all met outside, and we were like trying to work off each other, like find out who was having ideas. And mm -hmm. it's like uh, Clayton was so laid back. Yeah. And I guess he was nervous too, because he was. He was one under the influence. Cran was nervous. He was. He, he probably will tell me that I'm bullshitting, but that it's what I felt coming off the guys that there was a lot of, a lot of tension. Right. And they were looking for to mellow their senses, and that was the first thing they. That shouldn't have happened. Right. I I felt like it shouldn't have happened. But here I was with a group of friends. I'm like, are you guys sure you know what you're doing? Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, are you sure? And I remember I paid for the insurance because I knew somebody was getting hurt because I also knew I was trying to get Matthew Beretti. Yeah. Because he was calling you out, too, online. Yeah. Calling me out, saying that I was one of his best friends, which in high school, I talked to him. We chatted about a few things. We never really hung out. Best friend. And that's no. Really, that's mm. qualifications of best friend. You mm. just talk. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and there uh, was a few other people. Yeah, like Roach. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Eric's best friend. Uh, yeah. Dylan. Um, there was another guy um, from my work that was supposed to show up. And at the end of it all, um, I, I get power at my place and I found out that they were all at this one place and I was like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Yeah. This shit just went down and what went down was Eric uh, breaking his leg yeah. from a mishandled uh, double suplex. Yeah. And um, I'll tell you what I felt right away. I I honestly didn't know. I heard the snap. I saw the leg dangling a little. But I, it, it, you know, you're in the, the you're rush in the of the moment, moment and, and A, I'm playing a character, and, you know, I'm doing this referee job, but it, it didn't click to me. And jokingly, sarcastically, I said, because I didn't see him getting up, and I was like, does somebody need an ambulance? And then Ashley she, On goes, the camera. I, yeah, think I think so, so, yeah. And then I had the foresight to go, well, not foresight, I guess, at this point, but I had the, the you know, I went and go check, to go check on... Uh, Eric, he was just, he, 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 he was in pain. Yeah. He was in a lot of pain. And then we're like, okay. Then, uh, then I'm thinking, okay, this guy is supposed to be champion. <laughs> He's not walking out champion mm -hmm. today. And I was like, someone needs to pin him right now and get him out. And then I think I came and talked to you. Yeah. Um, and I'll let you When, 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 when the move happened, I was literally right there because... You look yeah, at it, yeah. I'm like this, watching the whole entire move, and it happened. I didn't even hear the snap. Yeah. I didn't even hear the snap, and it happened, but like, I, two like, feet in front of me. C c correct me if I'm wrong, but you knew something was wrong? Because yeah, the, uh, the, the look on he, your face kind of changed. He was not getting up, and then I was getting attacked from behind, behind, so I was, like, dealing with that. After I was done dealing with that, I turned around, there you are, right in my face. Um, Eric broke his leg, like, like Shit, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He needs to be pinned. He needs to be taken out. I'm like, oh, yeah? Yeah. So I'm like, 
slowly moving over and I'm like, dude, you okay? My leg, and I'm like, do you want to be eliminated? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so what are we doing? And like, so, I didn't want to put all my weight on his right, chest yeah, because, because that, I was thinking, if he can't breathe, then he's going to be hurt more. And I was like, yeah. okay, I want this done quick and over. You're like, one, two, three. And then I was like, and by the way, <laughs> as enforcer, that was the only <laughs> pinfall or count I did because I, I don't know if uh, Ken knew what was going on. Um, yeah, my dad. He, yeah. I, I think he did, but at the same time, he was watching everybody, everybody else. Everybody else, so I kind of, I, I just kind of ran in and did, did the did the honors, I guess. And at, 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 the, at that point, I was checking with him, do you want us to continue because we can stop? He's like, no, I'll just continue. I'm like, are you sure? And like, looking looking back at it, I wish we had the, yeah, he, he was in pain, but if we dragged him off the turf, like, right away. We didn't really have much. Like, and, and we didn't really you know what to do, really. To carefully move him, we needed him on, like, a blanket and stuff, and yeah. then carefully move him away. And there was... The place never supplied anything like that. And, and the ambulance took forever to get to us. Yeah, that was another thing. And uh, after Eric gets eliminated... I, I wanted to check on his leg, and I'm like just starting to look at his leg to get help him understand the severity of the pain he's going through because uh, he's not looking at his leg; he's wincing in pain. He has yeah. his eyes closed and he, he, head he, back. He, he did at one point pick it up. Yeah, he did. He start. Yeah, he started picking it up, and then all of a sudden, I, I saw his leg. And I was like, <gasps> and then. His brother comes up behind me and hits me. I was like, oh, you fucking kidding me. I'm trying to do a job. I'm running this company. I have an injured person, and you want to fucking hit me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, it's, and, and, and it's funny because they, they really didn't know what they were what they were doing either. And uh, No, because uh, there was uh, Little Crown and one of Eric's buddies, and all they were doing was suplexes. Suplexes and... And not selling. And not just, selling. And tripping. I, and it's funny because I started calling the match them like their bit like when they were going at it. And I, I all I said was go for a pin. Yeah. One two three. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're supposed to kick out. <laughs> <laughs> I just said go for a pin. I didn't say pin him completely. <laughs> but it, you know, they 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 don't talk the same. We no. talk, right? No. And at that point, uh, Clayton was slowly learning how to communicate without actually yeah. seeing it on camera because he comes up to me and he's like Eric's injured yeah who's champion yeah dude I don't know <laughs> and I, I don't know who came up with the decision because I remember somebody told me um, I think you might have I think I, I told you because yeah. uh, after a bit after Clayton and I was like working I was like thinking of my possibilities I'm like looking around all of a sudden it's like down to like me little cran Clayton I'm like I'm not taking the title yeah that j even after this would make me look so bad and I was like you know what Clayton did not too bad his match against me he'll go for it yeah and I think I told you first before I told him because I, I kind of like motion I'm like Clayton's winning the title and you're like are you sure I'm like yeah just go with it and I, I, I think I think it was one of those things where it's like okay pass it along because we didn't have the the bodies close enough to really yeah everybody know, started time. frogging away yeah. and then it was like okay well like, as long as we're leaving Eric alone because I, I think it, it, it I could be completely wrong about this but I think it it went from your mouth to mine mine to your dad's your dad's to Clay and then you two talked about it yeah and then um yeah, I, th I think your dad took a bump that night too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he did because yeah, uh, Clayton did something, or I think it was like a shoulder block. No. Um, oh no, 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 no! That's a different. Me, I I was the one that right, injured right, him because right. he he's like trying to whip me into my dad, and uh, he didn't mean to. And then he, he lines me up, and I just kind of look at my dad, and I, I smile. And he gives me a like slightest nod, and whips me really hard, and I just bump, plow right into my back. He, 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 he did good. 
he got he, he got, got he his bruise, bruise yeah. from it that took about two months to heal. I felt really bad. I kept telling him every day, I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah. He's like, no, no, free, don't worry about it. And yeah. he like showed people at work, and uh, I, I was like, so he, he, he must have been proud of it. <laughs> yeah, and I, and Clayton was apologizing. He's like, I didn't mean to whip him into you. He's like, that was oh, actually no. a spot on clay pot imitation right yeah. there. That was his. That's yeah. how he talks. Yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, it, when he was there. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, he, he thought he was going to get in shit for yeah, it. Right? And yeah, yeah. After he did that, I started howling. I was like, Clayton, my dad knew about it. When you lined me up, I looked at him. Yeah. He's like, what do you mean you looked at him? I'm like, I looked at him. And he gave me a nod. It, it was okay. Yeah. And I think prior to that, I, I kind of, like, talked to my dad. I'm like, are you fine with taking a bump? Because refs take bumps. Yeah, they're knocked out forever, but they take bumps. Yeah, and Vic, Vic's enforcing this would kind of give him a center stage that would help be like, you know what, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, it it kind of it kind of I I really don't know how it would have gone had Eric not gotten hurt because that kind of gave me something to do yeah. as bad as that. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You were. It, it wasn't like Mike Tyson sitting at ringside waiting for a spot. Yeah. At WrestleMania, yeah. And you actually had something to preoccupy your time with. Right, right. And uh, for for the match's sake, I guess it's cool that it worked out that way. But um, it's a good thing that y you heavy players were there, like especially Clay Clayton, who still wrestles with uh, the FB. And you, because um, that be that battle royal could have fallen apart very very quickly had a guy with somewhat experience like Clayton not been there. If Eric still got hurt, and then he had Baby Cran and his buddy just to deal with. Yeah, then I would have been shot, and I don't think uh, BFB would be around because. It, it, um, <laughs> Uh, it'd be a hard it, it, recovery. It, it, it would be. It'd be. I mean, we'd have to, and I don't think we were capable of it at the time. We would have. I don't even think we're still capable of it. But we would have really had to thought of something really good on the fly. <laughs> yeah, damage control. To 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 recover from that. But um, thank goodness Clay was there. Yeah. Uh, good thing we had the insight to put the championship on him because, you know, as a character, the guy's awesome. Yeah. He. He cares about what we do. He's very uh, uh, to look at him. You wouldn't think he's energetic, but goddamn, his he's entrance man is fucking energetic. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he he just gives a damn. I mean, um, he he doesn't like breaking kayfabe um, almost as much as I don't. I mean, there's times where you know how at the circus lab we have the the entrance and the stairs. There's one time somebody, uh, he had to tell somebody something, but he didn't want to come uh, down. Oh, yeah. So he hops yep. the fucking fence or fence whatever, and he comes all, all the way around. around. And me and Dan just look, I'm like, fuck, man, this guy's, you know. And he can move. Oh, damn. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're empty, man. That, that, was, that was props to him mm. moving. Um, he ain't a little guy. <laughs> no, six, four, six, six, five, six, four, something like that. Yeah, and he's yeah. Like I, he uh, to get his entrance music, he never really gave me anything mm -hmm. to go off of. I'm like, dude, then I'm just gonna give you one random song, and it's gonna be crazy frog. He's like, do it. I'm like, and. It's it's, okay. it's it's almost uh, become how, a how, how are you gonna sell Crazy Frog? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's almost become a meme in BFB now. I mean, when you th for for, pe for us anyway, when you hear Crazy Frog, it's it's Clay. Clay. And he was doing this before Daniel Bryan yeah. even started doing yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because then I started saying yeah. Oh boy, yep. Clay Pot's in this. Uh, but um, 
and that started because we were reading Fifty Shades of Grey and doing the the challenge challenges. And, and we read saw a clay pot in the book, like the name Clay, <laughs> not Clay Pot Clayton. And then, yeah. And then I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I I just went crazy. But um, you marked out for I I, I I marked out hard for him, <laughs> but um, that leads us to a double header, doesn't it? Yeah, it leads to going into you and I once again. Yeah, in the in in his backyard, well, my parents', parents backyard. backyard, and it was it was a nice little event. Um, the the cool thing is your daughter was there. Yeah, you you walked out to count bodies like she with your daughter on your shoulders yep. and you know it, it was just it's just one of those things that doesn't happen no. often because a the timing we do our events this time we did it like at five or six o'clock or something yeah like we did it uh more of a normal yeah. time instead of nine o'clock yeah um. and um but yeah um clay's champ now Yep. So, um, and this was the debut of Joshua. Yeah, Dozer. Dozer, because uh, Clay turned around to me. And he's like, "Yeah, I got a buddy that used to wrestle a lot. And he wants to come and maybe do some stuff." I'm like, "Yeah, sure, bring him along. We'll see what happens." Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, prior to the whole event, uh, you and I were working out our match. And everything, and uh, I, I told you right off the bat. I'm like, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna bring my daughter out. It's totally gonna be out of character, but it's something I want to do personally yeah, because yeah. freaking, I'm proud to be her father, and she gets to see daddy wrestle. Exactly. And, and um, I, I know you were like, well, I don't know about that. I'm like, well, what do you mean? She gonna be fine with seeing you being sore? I'm like. Well, usually she laughs at me when I'm in pain, so I don't see this being a problem. <laughs> but we'll, we're about to find out, and if not, we'll, we'll just try to make up a BS excuse to like cut the match short or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll work we'll, around we'll it. We'll work around it, and it was at the very first suplex or whatever we did. Uh, you gave to me. Yeah, and kiddo started crying. Yeah. And I looked at you, I was like, oh my god, this is freaking my heart. <laughs> yeah, you felt already defeated, like, I gave you the world's yeah. biggest super kick to the heart, and yeah. you just like, I can't continue. And and this is the point where me and this guy, you know, there isn't that, that, that animosity we had is starting to get smaller, and I started giving a shit about you. <laughs> <laughs> No, and it, it's just I, I just felt so bad. I was like, oh, not only is your, like, with your dad, he's, you know, he's been with events. Your mom yeah. came out and recorded, but still your mom was there. Um, you know, your daughter, and here I am doing a suplex, and she started crying. I'm like, no. But she 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 was a trooper throughout the rest of it. Yeah, and, um, I, I totally played off of it. I was like, fuck, you're not breaking character. After all this time, it takes her to break you out of fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> and here so, I give people a shit. So about I'm like, you know what? Fuck, she didn't like that. Let's go again. Yeah, yeah. And then we went out and uh, had what I think is one of the best matches he and I have, uh, have had in a backyard with two mats that constantly were sliding apart. And my dad did an and, excellent and job he, of making sure he that he made they sure they went were back together yeah. again. And um yeah, no, he took care of us in that match and I don't remember us calling much in that match. We just kinda knew. Yeah. You know it was like an old shoe it, all over it, again. It, it was it was a fantastic, fantastic match. I think that match in in retrospect was the match that we wanted to have. Yeah. At the Street Fight Ladder match. Yeah, yeah. Because you carried me in that match, and I felt like shit because you had to carry me in that match because I couldn't lift you. I couldn't do half the things to you. Yeah. So and I had to resort to weapon violence. Yeah. <laughs> Which, in now that I think about it, it's, it's great that the, the ladder match, Street Fight, ended up 
having weapons and stuff because it, you know, it it worked. Yeah, us, it, there was a fallback on it. Yeah, and then we get to double header, and you know, we were able to, you know, at this point. I felt like you were completely on par with me, if not a notch above, and we we went out there and had a friggin' awesome match, and I felt good about it. Yeah. Like, uh, me, I was looking forward to that match, and then I was looking forward to the match that was going to lead into where you and I would tag for the very first time, the and handshake. The handshake that... <sighs> the handshake that... That, that has become legendary to us. Yes, yes. Because um, it's funny, we never planned it, but at the Battle Royal, we shook hands, and all of a sudden we're up on our feet. feet yeah. Like, like, not, like, I took a rock bottom, like, from Claypot, probably on a chair or something. This guy went through a Battle Royal, but we can still shake hands and feel like nothing had happened. So we continued this throughout. It's almost like a spoof on the Mega Powers. But we made it our own thing. It, it, yeah, it, it's a spoof. It's almost... It, it, it flirts with the whole idea if wrestling was uh, RPG. Yeah. Well, how, how would you revive yourselves? And we kind of use this handshake as, you know what? There's a lot of history. We feel good when we work together. Yeah. And we're, yeah. In, in a sense, we kind of promote that to the audience that... It's okay to have somebody's back. Yeah, yeah. Ask for help. And it may not be right in your face, but when we shake hands, it's like, and you know what? We're a team. Yeah. And it's even in promos where we'll say, oh, what is this feeling? I feel good. good. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like it, but I really like it. <laughs> you know, and then we just, it just took off. But the cool thing is I requested that we walk out to Maximum Carnage's music because we've got so much history with that game and I feel like the theme song would be right up our alley for yeah. just based on the music we listen to and the things we're into um, and the type of characters and the that type of are. characters that we are and I got to wear one of your masks which uh, you always end up wearing one that, of my that, masks that, that, in that's, match. that's why <laughs> I was like can I just can you be willing while I, while I walk in so it's not rape anymore? Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I got to wear your mask and we walked out. And it's funny because I, I I didn't tell you this at the time, but you can clearly see it now um, when you go back and watch it. I felt like I was in an arena when we walked out. That's how cool that felt to me. So I'm, I think, I'm I think doing this and, and you know, yeah, there's... Didn't no, I walk out with my daughter again with us? I don't remember. I, think I so. don't remember, but I just remember that feeling like it felt like we were at some legit arena yeah. and we were tearing the house down. That That's how good I felt about the first match and then teaming with you. It just felt like everything... Was going this is to, where we. This is where. Be. This is where we want to be. Yeah, and um. Uh, what's that was the debut of Dozer. Dozer, and uh, you know he did well. Yeah. He did well. I think he did better in that match than some of his later <laughs> matches. Yeah. Um. He, he obviously was not. Uns he was unsure of you and me and yeah. Clayton yeah. and everything else and that was a given I was like dude just do what feels natural Yeah, yeah. don't do anything that you don't want to do I, I think the thing with you and me is if anybody new comes in we'll want to be the ones to work with them and then let them just beat us up you know see how they feel comfortable see how they work and then try to give them tips from, from then on out right yeah so, so yeah, if you happen to join BFB, chances are you'll be working with one of us. Or both at the or same both time. Or both at the same it time. It all depends on what either one of us is doing, because I, I still have a lot on my plate when we end up doing training and stuff, because everybody comes up and talks to me, and it's like, well, yeah. what's your ideas about this? Oh, what are you going to do about that? And it's like, I have too many hats, but at least I know I can trust you with 
training and pointers and yeah. whatnot because yeah, 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 you yeah. know exactly what I'm looking for and I know exactly what you're looking for yeah and, and you know it just it just works out that way and I uh, the, the start of this year and even pretty much ever since I came back I just wanted to be more involved with BFB because I know there's a lot on your plate and I just wanted to kind of like like yeah, and it's, and and it's only things. been recent that I've actually came to you and be like, hey, look, do you mind helping me out? You're like, yeah. yes! <laughs> <laughs> when were you going to do yes. <laughs> But, okay, so we do... Uh, we do the double header. double header. That's where I win my belt. Yeah. For the first time, From thanks to you, because you end up taking Dozer out for me. Yeah. And that uh, that match, in all aspect, you, that was awesome. Uh when you were trying to make Dozer tap, and you're like, tap Dozer, I'm like, no! Yeah. We want him! Yeah. And then I'm Use like, your head. And then I'm like, fuck! Cause it, it's, we want the title! Yeah, because it's it's so like, and I don't know if it was um, where my head was, like if I knew what I was doing, or it was just instinct that um, to make the first person tap, yeah, yeah. but it just worked so nicely for what we were doing, and... And I don't know. There's something about that that it, it was definitely fun because especially the the tag corners was so far spaced, yeah. and where we were wrestling was more favored to Clayton's area. And, and we had a chair, <laughs> and every time his dad would turn around, I would move it in closer. And yeah, that was just a lot of fun. It was. It, it was, was a lot of fun. I wish could do more of it. Oh yeah, for sure. So does that bring us to um, Affect and Infect, or...? Um, I am surprised I'm remembering these names, yeah. by the way. Yeah, because they're not normal ones. No, You, no. you remember the non-normal ones. And then the normal ones, I'm like... Yeah. Canadian... Titties? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um... Okay, after, after Doubleheader went the... No, it was another backyard one. Oh yeah, the BFB BBQ. BQ, yeah. And I, I want <laughs> me and Dan call that boxing. <laughs> hey, you wanna watch a boxing match? <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, let's watch it. Oh, that was uh, another stupid idea I put myself through. But that that event, I fought <laughs> fought made, those are for it made me re laugh. retaining my title, and then I talked. To a co-worker that was doing backyard boxing and he's like yeah I'm undefeated man I'm like you know what I'm not going to say I'm the best boxer I know Jack little about boxing mm -hmm. and I was like you know what but I wouldn't mind trying it if you got an extra pair of gloves and a head headset I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try it yeah. he's like are you sure I'm like dude freaking, you watch me wrestle I am literally will put myself through anything I'm pretty sure I can handle your fist to my face like, okay, dude. Uh, I won't hold anything back, but yeah. yeah. As long as you know what you're getting into, I'm like, oh. starts the boxing career of Thriller. Yeah, and, and ends then, on the same and day. Ends on the same day. After I went through a set of chairs, that event, Dozer picks me up and slams me right through the chairs on my back. It was like killing and I, me. And I think Dozer at the time, like I wasn't there for the event. No, you um, were. I think uh, Dozer at the time was trying to figure out what he wanted to do as a move, so I don't I don't think he had like um, his uh, abyss slam at the time. No, he didn't have the black hole slam. And I think uh, I think he was doing like wastelands and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But he he just had me in a normal scoop slam, and, he, and I told him put me through the chair. <laughs> he literally put me through the chair. And then the guy I was supposed to box shows up, and after the match and everything, he's like, "You still want to box?" I'm like, "Can I just like get air into my lungs for a minute?" Yeah. And let me collect my legs and everything so that hey, I know what I'm doing next. I get up and like literally my legs are like wobbling. I'm like, you know what? Fuck! If I'm not boxing now, I'm not gonna box later. Yeah. Let's get this shit done and over with. Yeah. Quickly work out with those. I'm like, those are you ref in the match. Um, time will be this long. It'll be three rounds because I don't see it going any longer than that. Yeah. And uh, 
I, I remember I was doing everything myself. I was wrapping my hand, trying to get the gloves on. I got one glove on, and I was like trying to thumb the other glove, and Dozer's like, I don't know. And I'm like looking beside him, he had his best friend wrapping his hands, and it was like his ring crew. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh my god, what am I getting myself <laughs> into? Match starts, and I can instantly feel my feet heavy. I'm like, this is not a good start. Yeah. And then I start throwing punches, and I'm like, shit, I'm holding back, and he's laughing at me. My my wrestling training, everything that I've learned, learned wrestling from like, you, I'm like pulling punches, and I'm like, fuck, fuck! And he's like, what? I'm like, bam! Yeah. <laughs> he's like, there we go! I'm like... And then after again, I'm pulling punches. I'm like, I gotta yeah. stop doing this. So, I think there's a point where you actually like got in a few shots, but it's like, it was out of anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was out of frustration. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Once I started getting frustrated, I was starting to pop him, and he wasn't taking me seriously. So, it, in all honesty, I, he was leaving himself open for me, but I wasn't capitalizing on the fact. Yeah. And when it came down to that final blow, I popped him one, and then he came back with such a hook that took my nose right out and I went down and I just that yeah, was a just, weird you just, you just feeling you just kind of crumbled and were like, uh, I, I was okay, waving okay. off I'm done yeah and then all of a sudden the blood started pouring and then all of a sudden I hear oh my god your nose is broken I'm like <laughs> testing my nose I'm like it doesn't feel broken but holy fuck is it swollen yeah and then I look and all of a sudden the guy I was fighting he, his head's back and he's got tissue up his nose and everything I'm like are you serious this guy is undefeated I popped him in the nose if my nose didn't burst open I would have defeated him <laughs> fuck on top of that you you were rustling prior to yeah. this went through chairs and I went through chairs I went through hell and I could have defeated a guy that pretty much was undefeated in backyard wrestling in the or backyard, backyard boxing boxing and um because he was telling me stories about all these other guys that would fight, he would fight, and they were like putting their head down and throwing punches, and that's not what I was doing. I told him, "Look, yeah. friggin', I'm I'm gonna box you as best I can." <laughs> and in all honesty, I did what I did, and again, DJ, <laughs> I guess was egging me on still from a oh, prior he? prior thing. He's like, "I can teach you a few things from boxing." And I, I kind of felt like that was sarcastic like if I said okay he yeah. was gonna punch me in the nose <laughs> <laughs> truth, truth be told though he probably could teach like he, he's 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 a competent boxer I, I, I won't I, I didn't know but I wasn't yeah. gonna oh no he was definitely egging you on yeah. I'm no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> good, good to know I wasn't <laughs> out of my mind on that no but, but, but like just, just but if I break it down he is a competent boxer but yeah, that that was a learning curve for me. That was another injury that, in, in a sense, you could have kind of avoided. Yeah. But again, this was another guy that I worked with. Yeah. I showed up to work and freaking he he was losing blood while he was sleeping because his nose kept busting right open. So I busted him the last time he possibly could. Yeah. And he ended up missing, I think, a week's worth of work, and I was getting in shit for it. He's like, what are you doing with all the employees and recruiting them for your wrestling? I'm like, hey, look, he was saying how good of a boxer he was. Yeah. I took him up on the challenge, figuring that I was going to be him. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are you thinking? I'm like, wasn't. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could. <laughs> just... <laughs> and again, the whole, whole thing is like, you have a kid. I'm like... Yeah, I, if I had a busted nose, I could still take care of her. Yeah. Not while you're off work. Yeah, actually, it doesn't take me long to make a bottle for her. <laughs> yeah. They're like, you're such a smart ass. I'm like, I'm going to go to work now. Yeah. But, no, work was getting mad at me for, for recruiting <laughs> for bombs for breakfast. No, no doubt, but whatever. It's not their business. No. Um, after that went, I think, the great Canadian Winter Bash. I think so, and that's another one I didn't. No, I wasn't a part of. Um, who did you wrestle there? Was it Clay? I think no, so. No, it was Dozer. Because he was champion, 
at um No, I was still champion. Okay. So I was wrestling Dozer. He won it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, he he wins it at the Canadian Great Bash. bash yeah. so, what's the scoop with that? <laughs> <laughs> um I I pretty much made the deal with him on that that um Hey, look, this is hey, like... Look, Vic's not saying yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vic said he was going to be here, and this is like the second event, and he's not showing up. <laughs> um, no. Um, Josh wanted to really work with me, so I was like, okay, fine, we can start doing this elaborate storyline where freaking... I, I win the retain, you take the title, I, I go and fight you for it again. Yeah. And we'll just go back and forth. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, dude, I don't have much of a roster here to work with. Clay is now, doesn't want to do it because of uh, what happened to Cran because mm -hmm. he's uneasy. Which is understandable after breaking somebody's leg or breaking anybody's yeah, body it, part. It, it, it's, it's hard, hard to, shake, to yeah. shake, shake it off. Um, to go back on that, you and I actually visited Cran while he was laid yeah. up because uh, Cran left a six pack of beer at my place. <laughs> and he told me, Oh, you can have one. I'm like, No, dude, you can keep it. <laughs> I don't drink beer. But yeah, we visited him at his place while he was laid up and to see how he was doing. Yeah. And stuff like that. And then, uh, it's funny, I remember we met up, we had like a half an hour meeting to ourselves. <laughs> We went there, chatted with him, went back out, had <laughs> another yeah, half an hour meeting. meeting. <laughs> yeah. But, um... I think we were almost, like, figuring out w where, our, like, each other's opinions were. Cran will be, say, this time next year or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. It was like, I would really like him to be champion because he deserves to be champion. He did such a great match where it was just me and him. Mm -hmm. And I, I kept remember bugging him about it, and he's like, "No, not unless you're gonna pay my freaking uh, hospital bill." I'm like, "Dude, then just fight me." Yeah. I didn't break your leg. <laughs> yeah, and you can fight Victor. He won't break your leg. Yeah. Just don't fight Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> that, that just it, it was. To reassure him that, hey, look, yeah, if you still want to do this, we can work around any yeah, problem. And, and That's where I was yeah. getting at. And he was still humming and gnawing. I'm like, hey, look, dude, just like I told Vic, you have an open open door contract with right, us. Right, right. So anytime you want to get back into it, you can. And it was the same for his cousin Chris, Rev. He still has an open door to it, and a lot of people still do. Because I, I didn't want the same thing there, that happened to me with, with free for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no burnt bridges or, you know, whoever has previously worked for BFB, they can, they can come back. Even, uh, even Dozer's brother. Yeah. Man, he came in at a later date. Yeah. Um, but after Great Canadian Winter Bash, Dozer gets champion. Uh, there was a Divas match that happened here. Explain to me how that came about. That was um, <laughs> on the fly between uh, was it Clayton's, Clayton's sister? sister and my girlfriend at the time. Okay. Yeah, Katrina. I think, yeah, by then she, her and I were dating. And... Uh, that was just on the fly after the Great Canadian Winter Bash. They were wrestling, and everybody was like telling them to do moves. Don't know that. Don't know this. And it started out with a dance ma dance off with the Macarena, and then yeah. all of a sudden yeah. they, they went in at it. And like, I, I remember at the time I was like so tired, and I didn't really care that much. I just kind of looked <laughs> I was like. Really? It's like, okay. I makes the video longer. Yeah. And what was interesting, there was a, we had a, uh, 
mutual lesbian friend there that was kind of a person that did camera work for a lot of the right 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 yeah yeah she's she's now in Alberta now but okay at the time she was she was egging them on and was like you know what fine I'll just let the girls be girls yeah it, it was kind of cool. Uh, Katrina later ended up refing one of our one of the uh, BFBs matches, yeah. or not one of the BFBs, one of the battle royals is what I meant to yeah. say. And she did that with a broken foot. Yeah, yeah, because she was limping. Yeah. And I remember you giving her crap count faster, and Dan was telling her the same thing. Yeah, count but faster. I, I, I don't think she got. Uh, yeah, she, she were in character because yeah, she, she apologized to us later, and I told her, "Oh." Where, you yeah, know, she came to me before she apologized to you. Yeah. She's like, well, what's with those guys? I'm like, what do you mean? Well, they were yelling at me to like count faster. I'm like, okay, in all honesty, that's in character. Yeah. Yeah. They were just doing that for the camera. Oh. Okay. And then she <laughs> walked off. And that's and when then, you told like, me afterwards, what was with her apologizing? Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean apologize? Oh, uh, well, I think I, in front of her, I gave you a hard time just to lighten it up. I was like, you gotta, you gotta tell them of these things, man. Yeah. You gotta, you know, it just because I didn't want anybody to be like uncomfortable or no, or, that's, or just, just that's not like as much as my character is. That's that's not me. Um, at least I would hope yeah. <laughs> I'm not like that. Um, but no, I I I did feel bad that she felt, you know, that we were yelling at her. But. Yeah, just at that time, she became one of my exes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, because Brittany yeah, yeah, was, uh, was there for that, because then they ganged up on me after the Battle Royale. I, 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 re I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, where are we at in the order? And the timeline, man. Okay, Great Canadian Winter Bash. The Macarena match at the end. Yeah. So that ends that event. Uh, I think it was affecting an effect. Where you wrestled <laughs> in one night, the four infamous, matches, the f infamous four matches in one, one night. night, and it's, f it's for it's, one character. Yeah, for one character, because uh, we've probably had other characters that have wrestled on par with that, or at three, something like that. Yeah, or close but, to um, it, but yeah, because uh, I know I was almost in every one of your matches, and I can't claim that I did four in yeah, one night. It's it's. Just the thing is, I was out there. Once I got out there, my entrance hit. There was no more me going to the locker room. You were there. Healing up. I was. I was there. There was no. There was no stop in the action, other than some promos and stuff like that. But that that was that was it. And I just remember. Oh, and that was the debut of Gremlin. Yeah, yeah. He had a, the match opener with. Uh, you. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you were out there. Um, but I remember, um, you know, the Form YT talk, right? Yep. This match got a huge following on that, on that form. And p even a couple members from the form came out. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, I remember. And um, it's funny because they were streaming somehow or FaceTiming through their phone. Oh, and no. they were sending them stuff back to YT Talk. Oh, really? So I didn't know it, that. It, yeah, no, it was really, really cool that... Um, um, and it was kind of a return for me in some ways as well, because um, uh, I wasn't at the previous couple events. That's, yeah. So... Um, you were trying to make up for lost time? I was Pretty much, pretty much. And... Um, I think that was one of the, at, at the meetings prior to the event. You are like, throw me in the frying pan. Yeah. Because cause, um, you even said, you know, you're short on the roster, you know, you can... And then here you are, busting your ass, portraying this character, that character, that character. And I'm yeah, like, well, Mr. the Bud. least I can do for you is Russell from start to finish. And, you know, keep it fresh since it'll be a different opponent every time. <laughs> I mean, it was Gremlin to... So the, the number one contenders match was you and Gremlin. me and Gremlin. I win that, and Black Bean was the referee. Yep. I win that. I go on to Dozer. Yep. I beat him, and then there's the tag match. 
Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Back, back up a bit. Um, that Dozer match originally was supposed to be Thriller number yeah. one contender, and then yeah. Dozer. Uh, what ended up happening is when Thriller got out, uh, Dozer attacked Thriller right away, and pretty much I was thrown out of the equation. Yeah. Yeah. To set up for the match afterwards, but you won the title from Dozer that day. The title from Dozer. And then we did the tag match. Dozer and Mr. Butt, which is me. Yeah. Going up against, we made the stipulation of you and Thriller. Yeah. And, and I figured uh, on paper this is going to be hard to hard to do even for me going going back and forth. But if people are like, well, how is this going to work per se? Well, but we pulled it off. Pulled it off. You pulled it off brilliantly. And um, I, I just remember uh, it took you a while to come out, though. Because... Um, <laughs> Me and Dozer were going at it longer, almost longer than we were in our own match. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, there's only so much more I can do with you. I and know, and I think I had Williams there. He was telling me, because I told him, friggin' look for this spot because that's my cue to come out. You guys did it within five minutes. I wasn't even totally ready. Right, right. And we had no grasp of the time. We, we, uh, as far as I know, 15 minutes have passed, mm -hmm. and then um, all of a sudden, you know, here me and uh, Dozer are having this match. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally you came out, and then we did, you know, we did this awesome tag team stuff, and then we dogpiled him, and uh, won the company. Won the company, handed it over to mm, your dad, dad, Pyro. Yeah. AK, well, Ken, AK yeah, Pyro. Pyro. And then. Um, I shake your hand and I say, anytime, any place. And you go, anytime, any place, huh? And, and then, then I pay you back for the super kick you did to me. At the very first match. That. And then, uh, boom, all of a sudden we have Thriller versus Vic, versus Vic Boss. Vic Boss. Uh, and uh, you can even hear in the audio, I go, four matches in one night? Are you fucking kidding me? You know, and then... You and I tore it up. Yeah. I mean, again, I think we had a really... And back I remember and forth, uh, It man. was back and forth, and I remember we had an ending planned, but you got up. And I was just like, oh, is, he, is, he, is, he, is he fucking with me? <laughs> but then it really worked for the match. I was like, you weren't going to lay down, you weren't going to lay down. And then I super kicked you, and then frog splashed you. Because it was last man standing. Yeah. That's what, that's what it yeah, was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when, when I took the first hit, I'm like, no, this this can't be the end. Yeah. I, I've the, taken the, your super kicks so yeah. many times that I should be a little more used the, to well, it. Well, the, the finish was supposed to be me dropping an elbow from uh, the ladder. I don't know if you had... I think you had the... Yeah, you had the chair on you. And I dropped the elbow, but you still got up. And that's where I'm thinking, is he fucking with me? <laughs> But then we, we got to do the frog splash spot, and it made it that much better. But then I, I was kneeling next to you. I was like, you son of a bitch, you yeah. need to stay down. <laughs> but, but Yeah, I know, because you were like, are you going to stay down this time? I'm like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, you know, we exchanged exchange some words that were kind of not... Um, in character. It wasn't in character, and you couldn't really make out what we were saying no. on screen, and we'll leave it that way. Um, but, yeah, I, I remember um, this arm of mine was dead. I, I really couldn't do much with it. Like, it, when I say dead, it, I couldn't move it yeah, past this. Yeah, it hurt to move. And whatnot. your dad raised my hand, and I went, ah! <laughs> and I look at him, I look at him with the most smug look, he's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, it's fine. But, uh, yeah, and then I just remember that last camera shot it was on you. Um, me and Paul did our secret handshake. Yeah. And he had the free-for-all free for title. Yeah. And we kind of, in in our own way, created that Eddie Benoit moment. Yep. 
but I remember Paul when we were younger talking about having that moment and you know he, he, in his head oh man one day we're going to headline Wrestlemania you know, yeah, he, you know he, he was in the yeah. imagination but never in our wildest dreams did I think I'd be holding yeah, a championship to- and he'd be holding a championship and then it, it's just like at the time it really didn't mean a whole lot like I, I don't mean to say that as an asshole way I just it just it just didn't click that you know you know we both had titles and, and then we did the toast but then it it, it dawned on me like later I'm like, oh my god we had that moment but I watched it back on it and I was like holy shit you know we had that moment and it, it was it just became something really that I won't forget which kind of mirrors something else that happens later on which we'll talk about between you and me both holding titles yeah which was in, in uh, the same level if not more special but um what's what's next on the agenda Okay, after that we've gone to the second for all, uh, battle royal. royal. Um, and, you uh, walking in champion. And right, right, right. you surviving everybody. Right, right, and Gremlin. Gremlin was the underdog. Yeah. Because to me, I, I I was thinking about no, everybody at that event except you was saying, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. It's like, Kidding me? And then you're like, "I'll I'll have it if you want it." And I'm like, "Well, that just kind of makes the battle royal kind of seem pointless after the first one because that's what we're following is that last one. So yeah. it has to have that wow factor." And I was thinking, "Well, who's like the least expected to win? Gremlins like losing." And I was like, "Well, okay." Well, Put it on Gremlin. Yeah. Make him champion. And uh, yeah, just you—you you just being in that moment that you beat everybody. You're like, yes, I did it. And then yeah, I and f- it's funny because um, my sisters are calling it. Yeah, it's not over. Yeah. Yeah. Dad's like, what are you talking years. about? It's not over. Just give it to me because <laughs> I, I know the plan, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, just give me the title, give me the title, yeah! And it played off even better because it's them. I'm so far in my head that I'm not listening to what they're it's saying. A, it was a, I, just, I've won. You, you, you got the title, I've that's won. your proof. I've won. And then, Gizmo, what the fuck? Roll, roll up. up. And forget, I didn't hear Katrina count, so I was like still holding you after the three, and then I'm like, three? Yeah. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, I won. <laughs> and I'm just squirming. And, yeah. But, you know, I'd, 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 I'd do that a billion times over. It was that, so that was fun. Because, yeah, that event, um, I double suplexed you and Dan. Yeah, and that's the... Yeah, I didn't realize Dan kicked you in the I, face. He was like a knee, man. <laughs> Knees to faces. <laughs> I didn't even realize that happened like that until we watched the footage back, and then the new footage that you got because For it the was slow mo. Yeah, and it just looked awesome because you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, fuck, what a video you put together in that one, man. That was oh freaking. We had Phil, the camera guy. Yeah, he, camera he was, slash referee. Yeah, he was. <laughs> you're like, hey, you won't push this leg <laughs> with the crutch. I was like, who does that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy. But, but yeah, that that was a fun event. Man, my leg hurt after that. But um, I was nervous dealing the double suplex to both of you guys because I was like, okay, I know if somebody's suplexing me with another person that I'll jump with. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping that I wasn't going to be lopsided. Yeah. You guys wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't jump in unison. Yeah. Because yeah. it's going to look really weird if that happened. Yeah. And as soon as I left, all of a sudden I could feel like you you helped me a lot. And then Dan kind of just fell flat. I'm like, oh, get under. Yeah. And I guess because of me trying to make sure that you both were going at the same time through Dan's leg sideways. Yeah. But to 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 be fair, um, I think 
Dan often does break his falls with his legs. Not, not, not so much like this, more like that. Yeah. Um, which is just his own personal style. Yeah. And um, um, I think that's just what happened. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That, that, that was like an it, extra it, kick. <laughs> it, it, it was like the icing on the cake, but... It's it's moments like that where you capture. That's why it's so important we record what we do. I mean, oh, yeah. to, to just just to go back and for anybody to see that it's like, how can you not watch that and see passion? Yeah, you know, like uh, like from every individual doing what they did there. There's the dog pile onto Gremlin and Gremlin kicking out. Yeah, yeah, and you know, all of us are, you know, it's. None of us had to do that. No. We we just believe in what we're doing so much. I mean, none of us have to be like, oh, you know, Gremlin's a cartoon character. Why are we going to, you know... Sell any of his stuff. Because it's fun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it, it, and it's, it, it's, just, it's just something you wouldn't see. And, no. And that's why it, it makes it even more worth doing it. Well, friggin' that's... Because of that event... It, it really led up to the battle royal, the third battle royal, yeah. where more people, more characters got involved, which yeah, was really cool. Yeah, yeah. But before that, I think the bash was next, the next Great Canadian Bash, where I was just a referee. I think so. Yeah, because I don't remember anything else. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, everybody was doing DDTs, and I called them out. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you damn guys in your DDT. Then, I, then you got up and DDT me. I did not <laughs> expect it. And I was like, oh, you guys in your DDTs. And, uh, oh, I was thinking about it. I was like, fuck, he's just not shutting up about a damn DDT. Well, fuck, I'm going to DDT him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that uh, leading up to it, because of the Battle Royal, I think that was when Dan first started getting into BFB. Yeah, yeah. And I was really excited because that kind of showed me that, okay, what... They they actually respect what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's caused enough of a stir that they not only want to come back to do it, but they want to do it on your turf. And um, I think he did it more, obviously, because I was there and I was... You know, kind of coach him yeah, in. And, and you were talking about it a lot and, and whatnot. And but the, 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 at the end of the day, his return match was against you. It wasn't against me. No. It was that uh, was it the submission match or something like, something like that. It was one of those end of the match, yeah. but it was against you. And and I told him, if you're gonna come back, you need to wrestle him. It's it's this is his baby, and it's like a. I guess a rite of passage in my head anyway yeah and it's like and and that's how I kind of because he was like w wondering who's his opponent going to be this and that should I wrestle against me I was like dude we're both Von, Von Chan guys yeah, right? exactly. let's, let's let's put some weight to this story where um, you guys are visitors mm -hmm. to Von's breakfast because that's how we made the agreement that Bombs for Breakfast gave Von Chan an open door contract, which yeah, you guys show up, we'll and you want a match, we'll find something for you. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, wrestling Dan um, was a long going thing because I wanted to wrestle him uh, ever since free for alls, and uh, I was I remember asking him, well, "What do you got planned?" I don't got nothing planned. Yeah. It's like oh. Yay, are you these one of these guys that's gonna be on the fly or if you like Vic and he's like, you know what? I'm I'm cool with anything. I'm like, alright, well then I'll feel each other out and start the match and I know it's been a while for you since wrestling a full fledged where you don't actually get time, and, so and I believe I was the referee for that match. Uh, yeah. Because um I remember uh, he had him some kind of leg lock, and I did a forward roll. Roll like, over him, him for yeah. no fucking reason, <laughs> but that was reason enough to do it. And, 
Um, yeah, I, I refereed that match, but I remember uh, thinking like I was watching. I, I felt like I was watching as a fan, and I was just like, "Fuck, this is really good. This is really, really good." And um, it's one of those matches, like like our match at uh, Doubleheader. If you put it on a bigger stage, it would have. It, it would have been something. Yeah, people would and have that's sat down. And, and that's credit to you because you were a part of both matches. <laughs> well, it's not only credit with me. I, why, ever since Free For All, I tried to not only better myself, but better the person I'm working yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Right? I've always told you, and I, I tell a lot of people, if you're going to lift me, don't worry about how much I weigh. Mm -hmm. Don't be worried about... A lot of stuff. If you, I'll, 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 I'll worry about my neck. You just make sure that you're doing what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Because if you don't know what you're doing, my neck is gonna go every which every, way. Yeah, yeah. And and you know you want to, you know, protect. You know, especially you since you run this damn thing, yeah. right? And um, if if you're down and out, then a lot of this won't work that way. I mean, it, it, it breaks down really it, fast. It, it, yeah, and um, but to to with that being said, it, when you and I wrestle, we we will bring that intensity out of each other. We will, you know, it, we'll make it look as real as possible without it being real. Yeah, and sometimes it gets very real. <laughs> it definitely uh, gets really in your face. Yeah, yeah, and you know. For some reason, I was never able to yell at you like that when I hated you. Yeah. <laughs> but now when I'm, you know, I know we're at peace with each other, I'm able to, like... You're comfortable to I'm be com I'm, I'm just, more... I'm comfortable because I know you're not going to be like, was that from someplace that was real? Yeah. Right? Because I, like, at least in my head, I feel, okay, if I go that extra intensity you know, at the end of the day, we're still going to shake hands and laugh about it, because uh, at the most recent event, Jazz never heard me shout like that. Yeah. And that's another reason I do it, because they know me as more of a calm, calm. big brother kind of guy, and when I do that... Yeah, where, where he, is this coming he, from? He, he was telling me my heart started pounding, and we were right in front of them, and I was just like... <laughs> Darn piss me off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But well, no, that, that's another thing that I like, and I thank you for is bringing people to these events. It, you know, and it's it's not that I, you know, say oh I'm gonna bring my people in so I get the most cheers. It's it's never no. been that. It's just I talk about it, and if people show interest, yeah, I'm gonna be like, come on out, and you know, come out and enjoy. It's happening here. If you can't make it, no big deal. deal yeah, which is why. I, I don't mind making the events and like invites and stuff like that because yes. you know it's it's it, it it adds a different element to the matches when you can kind of feed off no and it helps again helps us do better because now we're not worried about we're worried about more than just the camera now we're worried about making sure everybody's enjoying yeah. what we're doing in front yeah. of them and one of our best shows like audience wise was when it was just uh, Trevor, Jamie, and Corey, and they were just chanting uh, like crazy, like, like. Yeah, I think that was the event where I made you uh, official. GFB. No, that was with a bigger crowd. Oh. Uh, the three of them. It was the the one where the Kendo stick. All oh, the battle uh, royal. I think it was no, no, not battle royal. It was the May Day event where I beat uh, me and Deadpool fought for the title. I think it was May Day. May Day. May Day. <laughs> yeah, because I Might remember. Have been. Yeah, because. Um, oh yeah, when you won the title battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we didn't. Yeah. That and then that led into. Uh, F or not FFA? Fuck battle royal, oh, the third one. Because I was champion going into that yeah. as well. Number one again. Yes, there's a trend I do enjoy. There, there, there's a trend, and we try to uphold that now. Yeah. Going into yeah. battle royals, yeah. if you're a champion prior to the battle royal, um, if you didn't win 
the battle royal, you're first out, and you go up against the winner of the previous battle royal. Those are the first two people out there. Yeah. Because that's now an ongoing trend since yeah. the second battle royal. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because um. Okay, who who are our battle royal winners? We got Claypot, Gremlin. Gremlin. Third one. I want to say Daniel. Yeah. Daniel won the third. Yeah, because I was to. Uh, well, I guess we're talking about the the third <laughs> annual battle, battle royal now. Yeah, yeah cause he came, he had come back. And you guys have already had your matches, so yep. he got rid of his rust. And um, you were upset that uh, got I, taken, I got you taken know. out. Yeah. And then you weren't going to take the innovator seriously. And then the innovator's like, I'll make you take <laughs> me seriously. seriously. And yeah. then he and definitely then, brought it. Yeah, he brought it. I think he power bombed you, and then and then rolled you out and said something yeah. along the lines. Now, now you may leave. leave. <laughs> and then <laughs> like you asked. <laughs> And then yeah, he was the third uh, the third winner, and um, yeah, that I I I was pretty beat up after that one. Yeah. Um, you never told me. No. This no. was one thing that you kept to yourself. I I I kept it to myself because I knew we had another event coming up, and you had me kind of plan for this. Okay, you're finally gonna. You know, yeah, we, a, we we gotta end you being a visitor. Yeah, it's been you, ongoing it's, for it's been like four years, years yeah, now. There's, there's only so much more you can do. And I knew you wanted to do that, and I was just like, "Fuck, I gotta, I gotta get to that one." But you know, I, I was like, we still had a couple of months. I was like, I'll feel better, and I didn't feel bad uh, after the battle royal. I felt you know your normal aches and pains, but then it's just. As like the days progressed, it just got worse and worse and worse, and I couldn't fucking move properly. Uh, funny about that that year, uh, we go to Mayday. Yeah. Um, Thriller gets taken out by a deadhead. Killed. Yeah, killed. Yeah. And um, literally, that's um, what my mindset was going into prior to that event because my right knee is bad mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I, I make that very public and at that point in time I was going through some serious knee pains yeah that I was missing work and everything else and I was like yeah. fuck I can't can't keep wrestling on this I, I gotta get something I gotta get this looked at and I remember telling you hey look <laughs> this might be down my road soon he's like you know what do what you have to do oh uh, we'll work around it and I'm like okay and I, I, I told you and I told Brittany and I was like Worst case scenario, I can't wrestle again. What yeah. do I do then? We'll find something for you to do. You can still do butt. We'll we'll figure something out for Thriller. We'll yeah. Gremlin can hold signs or something. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, were yeah, giving yeah. me like tens and hundreds of ideas, and we'll we'll continue BFB. No problem. It'll still go on with you still being there. Yeah. And that kind of reassured me. I was like, okay, well, if I go with knee surgery, at least I got, I, I got people behind me about this. Yeah, yeah. Now we go to battle royal. You're going through back pains. Me, I was kind of going through back pains at the same time. Though, right, right, but right. my knee was that was working. Work. My knee was my main issue, but yeah. I was working through it. I was finding exercises. I was doing and, proper and, lifts and, and whatnot. It was it was weird because. Um, you were a little bit lighter on like the wrestling stuff on BFB at the time because you had been taken out while well, Deadpool was still going but like we weren't it wasn't like you weren't wrestling as much as you were yeah I wasn't before. doing five, five matches yeah yeah you weren't like we had and we had a pretty solid roster at the time in terms of what we had you know, a couple years back, Daniel came back. Uh, I was there. Clay was there. Yeah. Uh, Dozer was there. Vaughn would come in every now and then in an ape suit. You know. Yeah. Like, and you know we had, and then even Josh's brother, brother showed, showed up. up. So we had players to use. So it's like, okay, dude, you don't have to do that many matches anymore. 
you know, and it was, and of course, how do you even tell someone no, like no, you no, like yeah. that? Because you love like, doing it, yeah, right? No, no. And it's like, and, and I'm the same way. It's like, hey, fuck, if my, if I, if I can, if I'm supposed to do three matches, I'm going to do three matches. Yeah. Right? I, I don't care if I lose them all, I'll do it. And, um, yeah, no, it's just, the Battle Royal happened, and we had a really good moment in the Battle Royal where you just came out. And I feel like, even though it didn't happen this way, I feel like everyone just started stopping and looking. Oh fuck! It's Thriller and and Big Fair Boss course. and uh, I kicked up and I just roar Thriller! Yeah. And then we both start breathing and we grab each other and just start wailing at each other. And it so is to be fair, I I went through so many costume changes that yeah. night. I was yeah. exhausted just changing from character to I mean, character you went to from character. But to well, Gremlin. Gremlin. I think Gremlin. Yeah. Gremlin, Gremlin started. Then I went to butt. Then I went to deadhead. And then I ended up as thriller. Right. And I was just so exhausted. I had a NOS and I downed it by the time I was hitting deadhead. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to have the energy to freaking do thriller. And then as soon as I came out and you're like roaring, I was like, okay, manning up. It is time. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no turning back. Yeah. And, after the battle royal and everything, and then leading up to the next event, you, is, you, you, uh, you, you, that was ramification. Ramification. You yeah. never told me until just slowly prior that you were having pains. Yeah, I, I, I never elaborated how bad it was because I was always afraid that you guys wouldn't let me do it. And um, what, whether I, like I have no idea how you guys would have responded anyway, but I just kept it to myself. But there was a point where Dan kept coming over. And he noticed me just lying there, always. And he's like, "How is the ba how is this, like the next event gonna work?" You know, he said it in Hindi, but <laughs> and I was just like, "I don't know." And just me trying to get up, it would take me a good ten minutes just to s s wiggle out of bed, try to get up, and then just to get on the edge of my bed. And it's just like, "What the fuck is you know, mm. you know?" And it just it, then you play. You know, you, you play, like, angry and, like, stubborn and be like, there's nothing wrong with me. I'll, yeah, it'll yeah, pass yeah. in a Still couple goal, days, yeah. and it never did. And then ramification comes along, and I don't feel any better. Yeah, you told me pretty much, look, I want want break and everything. I was like, you know what, dude, hey, you helped me since two years ago. Yeah. Take a break. You, you told me back... Early this year, if you need a break, take it. Yeah, I'm telling you the same thing. You're like, okay, I will take it after this. It's like, okay, cool. To to me, you ne never. Again, this wasn't. Look, this might be my last match or anything. No, you said, I'll take the break. I'll take the break. The the thing that happened. I was scared to say that. That this is it. I was so scared to say it because what if it really was right? Yeah. And at the time, like, you had to think about your daughter. At the same time, my dad hurt his back. We're not able to pay for this house. We're not able to, you know, my mom, my grandma lives here now. Uh, mom's taking care of her. And the only person that's providing for all of them right now is me. And, and I don't want to sound like some white knight hero or anything, but it's like what happens if I'm to the point, and I was at the point where I shouldn't have been working. Yeah. But, you know, priorities, you have to. Yeah. And then, I mean, if I go on a disability check, it's not, like, if they even give it to you on time, they're not going to fucking give you the same amount of money, no. right? No, it'll exactly. Be a, it'll be a portion. So I, I, I was making the just the minimum to get us by. And it's like, if I keep wrestling... There's no chance there's, that there's, it's like, going to happen. I mean, even if there is a chance, why risk it, right? Yeah. So I, I, I had to be away from all of it though. I couldn't come. I, I know you, I, you would have probably given me the same options as I gave you as come back as like a, like a general manager or something. But it's like you, I, you couldn't it, do that it, to yourself because you you know you want to be it, there. Well, fists it, it, and it, it, yeah, because in my head I felt like I was um, at the top of my game, and 
Um, in which you were in all aspects, as much as you were going through pain and everything. Yeah. You were, you were keeping toe to toe with me, even though I'm wrestling like five matches in one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. so many characters, and you're able to put out as much energy into, and, yeah. into the match as I am. And, you know, I, fe I, I feel like the Battle Royal was like a really good showing, and then even at ramification, like. It, it was the match I went into knowing it was going to suck, but it ended up being such so a, much better. So much better. Um, I I was okay with that match and how it it how it ended. I wasn't okay with me ending, but if if, if that was it, I was like, okay. I mean, you went you went out there and you didn't hold back, no. and. Uh, I respect the hell out of you for that, because everyone knows that people hold back on me. I don't, I don't take that too lightly. <laughs> um, but no, you, you, you gave me a, a very good, a great even like stretcher match, and it was the first of its, you know, of its stretcher. stretcher. It was the first of its kind in our turf, and um, it's funny because we, we did a spot. You and I talked about it very briefly. Um, I don't think anybody else knew we were going to go up to the bathroom stall. Uh, Brittany knew, but she didn't comprehend what I was really talking about. Right, right. So. Anyway, we, we had a... For a lack of a better explanation, we had a, a Undertaker Mankind moment off to the Hell, hell in the Cell... Uh, Cage and um, yeah. At first, you're asking if I was okay with doing it. I'm like, well, what? Me going over or you going over? Yeah. And you're like, well, how about me going over? I'm like, I, I knew you were in a little bit of pain. I'm like, sure. Yeah. I, I'm not second guessing your abilities because you know me. Like, if you tell me you can take it, yeah, I know you can take it. And is for me, it was like, okay. If I'm going to be away for a while or forever, I want I One want that moment. moment, and I want it to be. Um, I it, it can't be just like steel chair shot, drag him out. I wanted it to be for me anyway. It didn't it, it, at that point. It was like it didn't matter if they were okay with it. They were okay with it. It's like I just needed it for me, and. We punched a little bit, and <laughs> it, it wasn't even you threw me off. It was more like you you had me ready to go, and then you just kind of went for it. I <laughs> yeah, all I was doing was making sure that you were yeah in control of what was going to happen. Yeah, and um, as much pain as I was in that day, that fall did not make anything worse. Um, I felt the same that I did coming in, like the same pain but it wasn't because of that because of that um and we carted me out and i think they tried my my fans i guess i think they tried closing the door yeah they but uh that that prior to that they knocked you off my first attempt putting you on it and fun fun fact she <laughs> she's my boss <laughs> And she threw me off. The but, um... What I didn't expect is... You... To help me back up. Yeah, because we, ne we, we never we, discussed how, never, how, how the total ending of that was no, going to go. And, and, I, and, and you just kind of said, you know, you, you helped me up and... I had to stop Brittany at the door because she started giving both of us shit for yeah. you uh, <laughs> doing, that. <laughs> doing that. Yeah. And she figured the match was over at that time. She didn't realize we were still in character. Yeah. You, uh, obviously, you probably didn't realize that we were still in character when I was like, no, dude, get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> we no, gotta no. go back out there. Yeah, no, I, uh, as soon as I was out that door, I was like, okay, I let my guard down. I, 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 I let my guard down and... Then you and me had that moment, and then uh, walked to the back. I, I, Brittany gave us more shit, shit. 
And then I, I, I had a line, yelled back, um, but it was just the, that that's what I wanted. I mean, that's 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 the only thing I had on my mind. And then we were done. Yeah, the event was. I think that the event was over. When you dropped the bombshell for that, this was probably your last one. Like it was. Even looking at the footage, it was obvious I was in shock. I was like, no, dude, you, you can't be done. Yeah. I won't let you be done. I will nag you yeah. getting your ass off, out of a chair, and, and getting back into the event. Yeah. Because I know what it was like for me, being laid up on injury. And that whole year leading up to Bombs for Breakfast being coming out of the shadows, mm -hmm. it, it killed me. Yeah. Like, I was more pissed off with me not wrestling than I was with the fact that I was kicked out from you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I could only imagine when you're you're sitting here watching me, Claypot, Dozer, Dan. And watching that, uh, that Iron Man. Iron Man triple, match. That yes. Iron Man Let's get to that. Threat, I was so into it, but at the same time, I was like, I, I, it should have been a fatal four way. I should have been there. I should have, like, I was beating myself up. And then when I saw promos cutting up, me and Dan had cut ties at this time. We weren't talking at all. And me, Paul went through his surgery. We, yeah. he, and he and I weren't talking at all. Um, you know, Dan was going through his shit. Uh, Paul had his surgery shit. I was going through my back problems. And all of a sudden, it's like, Von Chan kicked themselves out of Von Chan, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, Everybody else went their separate yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it was kind of sad, you know? I mean, we were all going through stuff, but none of us were there for each other. Yeah. And um, you were always checking up on me. You were yeah. always there for me. Um, I, like, I was in the process of... I know my luck with my year, right? I was in the process of losing my job. And, um, and then... You know, and I kept battling with myself. Should I, should I just try to be a part of that event? But ultimately, I said I can't. Oh, I, I kept offering. I was like, dude, you yeah. can even ref. I don't, I don't have a ref rep yet. And it went up right until the last point where I actually got Cran to come back. Yeah. Who who actually was, rustled you at that? Yeah. Because I, I made him a deal like I made you. It was like, dude, ref this match. I don't care what you do, you can attack me, we have an ongoing thing as it is since the Battle Royal that broke your leg. Yeah. So I, I would love to have that match with you again. Yeah. So after this one hour uh, kick me in the pants match against Dan and Josh, I'll have a match with you. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay. If we can go back to that hour, I am still in awe of how you guys managed to keep track of everything. Even if somebody was keeping track of it, I don't understand. Like, my mind is so small. <laughs> like, like, and now what I'm like, now I'm like, fuck, good thing I wasn't a part of that match because I would have lost a million times over. You know, but... I, I was, know, in, I, I was thinking about it, I was like, there's no way of communicating with what sources is given for Bombs for Breakfast at this point. Yeah to let each each competitor know, okay, you're at this, this guy's at this, this guy's at this. Yeah. So we had to have an ongoing tally, and if somebody had to know, they had to know. But we also had to keep track of time at the same time. Yeah. Which was another hard issue to do, because at Twisters, we only have the clock, right. or whoever cell phone's capable. Of, uh, yeah. And... To be fair, the hour is actually short by like a couple of minutes. Right. But in either case, the end kind of happened. Um, another cool fact about that hour, I never tapped. Yeah. Yeah. And that was one thing I was kind of worried about because I have this ongoing thing for my only for my thriller character that if I tap out, I cut my hair. Right. Hence why my hair is short now. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, but it, it made sense because did you not tap to Eric later? Yeah, I tapped to yeah, Eric so, afterwards. So, so if you tapped during the... It wouldn't have been as special, right? Yeah, but um, 
af- that whole hour, I freaking killed my shoulder. I, I, I was losing feeling in my shoulder, yeah. so I couldn't grip. I couldn't do any of my lifts. And then all of a sudden, Brittany, as Lucretia comes out, is like, yeah, guess what? Uh, part of Joker's uh, fee for refing is having a match with you. Oh, damn. And I was thinking, fuck, I'm, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keeping... I'm exhausted. Yeah. And then there, I, I see him. He's taking the shirt off. Fuck. But oh, okay. that that that's you, man. You, I don't want to say biting off more than you can chew, because obviously you 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 can fucking chew quite a bit. <laughs> but it's it's just uh, how tenacious you can be. It's like yeah, I'll, I'll swallow the bullet. Yeah, and even and even if you don't want to do it, all of a sudden something inspires moving you. Moving out of frame here, <laughs> but going into that impromptu match, I ended up telling her like, look, this side. Is dead. Don't work on this side. Okay. So what does he do? Works on that side? Yeah. Put, puts me in an icon of vice. And I'm like, he's hyper extending it. I'm like, uh, I, no, I'm not tapping. I went through an hour of no tapping. I'm not tapping to this fucker. He got me once. I get out of it. And he's like, well, what are you going to do? I'm like, breath and then boom hits me with another move and then back into the anaconda I'm like oh fuck I'm done mm-hmm. I, I just couldn't but it, I, I feel bad because that was again every time I have a match with this guy I cannot present my thriller character how it should be yeah and I was like kicking myself the whole day as much as that event was like awesome yeah and the mad scramble at the end where everybody was trying to get a pin and, I, so and I was bad. like I know I'm down by two but somebody's got to give me at least a pin yeah. and Dan wasn't giving me that I was like fuck you guys get off you go to jo- Dozer and he's like no I'm not losing I'm winning I'm like dude I'm third <laughs> I'm down by two I'm not Dan I'm not trying to outwin you Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to be one away from Dan because he's one away from you yeah 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 but at the end I, I kind of looked at Josh and I kind of looked at Dan and I'm like Vic should have been here yeah and if, if it was a fatal four way for one hour I can just imagine how much hard it would be on all of us trying to keep track of who has what number uh, that would have been a cha- chaotic uh Environment, but I think you know, knowing us, we would have made it work. One way or the One other. One way or the other. But it's kind of relief, uh, a relief that it didn't kind of be a final four <laughs> way because it, it would have been a lot. Different. It allowed Dan to actually show more of himself. Yeah, absolutely. He, he came out as a character. Josh, he's still working with Dozer and just kind of forming him to the proper which at this point now he's actually coming more of a a believable character mm-hmm. in my eyes mm-hmm. like I'm mm-hmm. feeling his rage I'm feeling his yeah. aggression yeah. and whatnot it's not coming as so passive and Dan's Dan has a, has established his character yeah. since your guys is free for all right coming over to BFB it kind of looked like Hey, this is new territory for me. Yeah, I with with Dan, I think he 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 kind of tried to be more like juvenile when he came to BFB because it's like, oh, I don't play by your rules, kind of deal, kind of like I was. But um, it it only worked for him because it, the association with me. Yeah. Um, had he been by himself, it, it, he'd have to. You know, play a different tune because uh, uh, he Dan, Dan Dan's a very like naturally angry looking guy. Oh yes. So it's like to see that all the time. It, it's it, as funny as it is. It's not believable hmm. because he's just got that demeanor where uh, you know if he just looks at you, you know you're gonna get your ass kicked. So I, I like that he was kind of more like that in the triple threat match. Um, but I do kind of want to go back to ramification because we didn't get a chance to talk about the fact that you and I were sitting on the sidelines when I, while the main event was going on. Oh, yes. And how cool was that? That that was like... 
surreal where we actually got to sit back and, and watch. It, 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 it never really uh, clicked to me until we were watching back the footage and Dan goes, wow, to see you and Thriller watching and not actually in the main event carrying, helping carry one of us, right? And it was like, it goes to show how far you guys have all come. Yeah. I mean, and it was the right time. Had it been maybe a little bit before, it might not have worked. Or, as, yeah. But they had the opportunity to work with each other. They had the opportunity to, you know, and I don't know if it was because you and me were watching, but everybody was so invested in it, you know? And in all honesty, when you and I were watching, it wasn't really like there was Victor and Thriller standing there. It was Pravi yeah, and Corey. We, yeah. we really didn't care about our characters no. being out there. We were just out there because here's our boys putting on a match. Putting on a match, and we... I hate to use the word blessed, but we were blessed to watch, you know, something we helped kind of grow, you know? I mean... Um, and and for us to just not be a part of that, you know, it's it, it made it, it it just made it special to me, yeah. you know. And I and, and it was even more relaxing because I told I, I after my match, the stretcher match, um, our match. Sorry, I I started getting changed really quickly, and Dan's like, "What are you doing? You're like beat up and sore. Why are you?" I wanted to announce Dan out, and yeah. then I went out there. I announced him out, and he came out, and then Dozer came out, and it's just this freaking truly main event worthy match, mm -hmm. and, and I was really happy they got to do that. I, I was really proud of them because uh, I, I remember Josh telling me, he's "Like, are you sure me and Dan to follow you and Vic because?" You, you guys are a special movie match. I'm like, dude, no. Mm -hmm. And Th this is your guys' chance. And you know, it's if if you and I went out there and say said follow that, they did. Oh, yeah. They we, did, and we and I'd like to think we put on a really good match, but they followed. Yeah. Like absolutely. No, it, to, it was, to to the T and every expectation was met in that match. Like yeah. I mean, it had its highs, it had its lows, it's, you know, Dan got his aggression out there, um, Clay ha had his comedy bits, yeah. and, uh, yeah, it was just, <laughs> it's funny because Clay took the title at one point, and after, uh, Dan had won the, the match, um, <laughs> and I'm walking to him because I wanted to, uh, present the title to Dan, and Clay just keeps walking. He's like, "You're not looking even watching." Yeah, because uh, he raised Dan's hand, and Dan just, you know, like, "Fuck you," right? Yeah. And it was just, it was so much fun to see uh, that happen. And yeah, man. All right. Um, we 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 backtracked. So, triple threat Iron Man match, and then you guys went on a hiatus. Yeah, and I was completely um, shocked. Yeah, because um, financial reasons mainly. Yeah. yeah. Um, Brittany was going back to school last year. Yeah. This is where we're at now, 2015. She's going back to school, which means I didn't have funds to, or extra funds to put on shows. Yeah. Um, however, I made a promise to everybody that hey, the battle royals are. Always going to happen. Yeah, yeah. If I have to scrape and penny pinch, I will. But the Battle Royals will happen, and they will not be as late as that one year where it was where like it is, in yeah. September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was like really killer. But, um, Battle Royal happened. It, it was awesome. Everybody <laughs> definitely displaying rust. Yeah. So good. Everybody's, and everybody's uh, been kind of away for so long. Yeah. And, uh, and it it was it was kind of cool that uh, you know even though you guys haven't been uh, putting out an event after 
so long, you know, you still have you still come back and there's still people there to watch. And it was just it goes to show that you know pe people people care. We got diehards. We got we got we got diehards that at least gravitate towards one character or the other, and I think that's really cool. And um, yeah, no, that battle royal unfortunately had camera issues. Um, well, to be fair, a lot of bombs for breakfast uh, events. You're not even afraid. <laughs> <You're not even laughs> you're, you're talking all. He's <laughs> nowhere to be found. I'm here. <laughs> um, bombs for breakfast has a lot of ongoing issues. Whether it's camera, whether it, it's, it's music, music, and it's 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 because um, where our roster's kind of okay right now, our behind the scenes technical crew isn't. Uh, not that I'm saying it isn't good. It's just um, we, we don't, don't have, have enough. Yeah, we don't have anybody permanent. It's whoever can show up. Yeah, uh, thankfully uh, Ashley's always there for for camera or whatever she needs to be. And, um, when she's not pregnant, when which not she pregnant. is right now. And yeah, so uh, we might have more camera issues. Just bear with us. Just yeah, but um. The reason I, I, I say uh, the it's a shame that the camera um, crapped out when it did is because there's this moment where it had looked like I won. Um, oh, the, okay, the yeah. Royal, and then all of a sudden, Lucretia says, no, there's still one more combatant. And the cue of Deadhead's music could not have been better. It was just like... I get the title taken away from me, and I'm like, what? And then, dun, 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 yeah. dun, psh, dun, 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 and I look back, and it's just, and it, and then the look on my face, at least how I was trying to portray it. It was like your heart got ripped right yeah, out. Yeah, there's no hope. Like, there's, I, I just. There's one more person, there's this guy that he, you can't he, be. He's, he's, he can't be hurt, you know, like, and it's, um. It, it was it was really cool to to do that, um, you know that bit, and I I don't know if that if there was anything else that was too memorable about that battle royal. To me, that one that that segment was awesome. But another one was awesome was because of you, but it's it's only for my eyes because you came out with no entrance music. You uh, specify which character. Thriller. Okay. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I, when I'm talking to him, like you, I mean Thriller, because if any, if you put anything into any character, it's of yourself. So, it's Thriller. Thriller. Yeah. Um, but you came out, or Thriller, thriller. He came out to to no music. I didn't know that he was there or anything, and he was directly behind me. And when I looked behind me, I thought I legit saw a monster or a zombie or something. And and you, you hit me with something. And But at the time, like, I didn't care you hit me. I didn't feel it at all. I was so shocked. Like, uh, and, and I, you have to understand, I've been away for, like, the longest at this point. And, yeah, and, 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 and but prior to the event, we were... You weren't for sure. Yeah, no, I until I think it was like April that you were like, yeah, was, I'm getting back into shape. I don't was, know how much I. Can it do. was in May. May. Because I made that video, and it's funny because, um, shout out to my coworker Jessica. Uh, she really pulled me through, and you know, gave me some confidence. It's like, dude, you, you, you've, you're still so young. And she's like. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she she's just telling me you you walked away from something that you're so young and and still good at. You, you said you walked away at the top of your game, and you know, you know, I, I I took a lot of what she said to heart, and then we went paintballing. I I, I didn't participate. No, I, I, I saw the video. Yeah, and um. And then another coworker of mine, Jody, was fucking around in the in, in the, the back. back. She's starting to do cartwheels, and I was like, "Man, watch this!" And I was like, "I'm not gonna land this." And I did like the cleanest kick up I've ever done in my life. I was like, "What the fuck did I just do?" Yeah. 
if you, the mic didn't pick up that, I said, what the fuck did I just do? And uh, I was, and then, you know, when you do something that, a- a- athletically, and there's no nagging, like, no pain nagging. Yeah, yeah, anything. like, and, and I was always, like, the thing I did to heal my back, another shout out, DDP yoga, and, um, it's, it's one of those workout routines that's not, like, straight up yoga, like, stretches, it, it, it's really like rehabilitation. It's it's rehabilitation, and it's not you're not gonna find results like that. Um, but it's more made for longevity in your life, and it's it's not like I mean you make your heart beat by standing still simply by like you know tensing up every muscle you have. So it's like like a fire hydrant, like shooting out water, and um, you know y- you exercise like that where it's so low impact on your body, and. I kept doing that, and eventually I was, you know, the pain's still there, but it's like, it's so, so manageable. Um, it doesn't inflame easy. Is what yeah, you're saying. yeah, yeah, and um, that's where I kind of was like, okay, I can do that. Let's see how more traditional workouts go, rather than just the yoga. Yeah. I mean, the yoga got me to the point where I can move around without any pain. So let's see how, you know, tire flips and, you know, like tire flips is not, I know, not traditional working out, but it's not so much where I'm like doing deadlifts and like squats or whatever. So I still do that. Something simple, but it's like an intense workout. Right. And then I just was like, okay, you know what? Let's message this guy and say I'd like to give the Battle Royal a shot at least. And I remember... um, Asking, can I be number one? Uh, the entrant, and then you said, no, we got we kind of got this ongoing tradition going. Yeah. I was like, huh. <laughs> can I be number four? <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I was like, I'll be El Toro first. And then we did that. Yeah, because I remember you asking me, and uh, before we went down to the numbers, you were like, I would like to be in the Battle Royal. I'm like, well, wait a minute, how, how are you doing? physically and then you start giving me this the, uh, the breakdown of what yeah. you've been doing and which is cool um, that's what I want to hear and I want to make sure that I- I'm getting you from you the honest response yeah. like you're not you're not BSing and me I, and I never like when I made the choice to come back and you asked me how I was doing I never pussyfooted around the truth if I would like like I even said right now, it's still there, yeah. but it's, you know, I'm not dying over it. It's not like I can't get out of bed in the morning. I can get out, out of bed fine. It's just there would be days where I'm standing for a long time where I feel like I'm hunched over, yeah. you know, but it's it's nothing that um, a good stretch won't, you know, kind of heal. Like, and I don't do any kind of medication treatments just because it's, I, I, I don't like pills. Uh, bitch mints. <laughs> bitch, bitch mints. Well, I, I remember the last, the, uh, what event was it? The last event. Uh, Canadian Bash? Winter Bash? Yeah. My uh, first ever. Yes. <laughs> um, because before, before that there was one more event bef- in between the Battle Royal and that. But my last event, uh, I was having some back issues yet again. Right. And uh, uh, last year, we started implementing before starting event, the doing suplex, suplexes, take suplex, do a, uh, and uh, deliver a suplex. Yeah, which helps everybody get used to the mat again. You can do your own falls and whatnot, which is fine, but we gotta do more suplexes because yeah, just uh, get, get away from the DDTs, but able to help. Help with the lifts. Help get everybody be like, "Hey, I'm capable of taking somebody else." Yeah, in my own hands. And and for for the longest time, I've always had like, and like I'm un, uneasy almost about to do it for two reasons: a, the whole kayfabe thing. If people are there watching, I, I it just mentally in my like I'm cool with doing it now. But so yeah, I, so I, I can I'm, say this. That when Dad was like. You sure you want to do this? There's people already out there. I'm like, dude, they know we're freaking 
Yeah. Not it, actual freaking monsters and, here, and, so... <laughs> but it, 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 well, that goes to my point at the beginning. It's like, when we did the first video, it's like, if... If, if we can go... Whatever we do at the end of the show, it's cool. Yeah. But it's like, at the beginning, I need to be in that zone. zone. I don't need it so much anymore, now that I'm more used to doing the suplexes. But another thing is, some of the... Like, I know we wanted to practice a... Like a from the trampoline suplex before oh, the match, the superplex. and I was just like, okay, if we have one of those in us, I'd much rather it be in the actual match, yeah. and then us doing it while we practice, even with the crash mat. What if we get hurt? Um, I'd much rather it be one of those big spots where, if we do get hurt, quickly end it, quickly end it, or you know, have this breather time, and then you know, kind of go from there, and. Um, it, it, all in all, it's just like for me. I can't speak for anybody else. This is just for me. I am a hundred percent comfortable with all you guys. Um, before it was just I was hundred percent comfortable with Dan, and mm. that was it. And then eventually it was you, and then eventually it was Paul. Yeah. Um, now I'm a hundred percent comfortable with Dozer. Dozer. I'm a hundred percent comfortable with Clay, which is why I want to do that whole rivalry with him and the guy. I'm gonna be a daddy again. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, with like I was saying with the last event, freaking doing doing the falls and everything. I remember freaking doing the fall and I was like laying on the mat, I was, like went back as fast and yeah. I I can't move. Yeah. And Brittany comes over and she's like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I don't know. I'm gonna do this event. And. She's like slowly rubbing my back and it's not doing anything. I'm like, okay, okay. And then Dan wasn't, Dan was looking to deliver a suplex. I'm like, you know what, fine. I'm already in pain. Just do so, it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go through it again. And then boom, after my back was like, okay, just did it again. My back was like kind of loosening up. I was like, okay. Well, maybe he, he put it back in place. I, I I don't know either that or my body was like, okay, this is what we're getting into now. Yeah, yeah. It's so kinda, this is what we gotta be ready. This, we can't be like, oh, this hurts, and that's gonna be it. Yeah. It was like, okay, my back was like loosening, and by the end of the match, I was like doing this, and at, at, at the beginning of the event, I couldn't even yeah. dare to turn. And it's all, it's also the the whole adrenaline that kicks in as well that just kind of. Adrenaline does wonders. 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 But um, let's talk about the, the last thing we possibly can talk about, and uh, it's your uh, birthday beats. Oh, yeah. After... Me and this guy go on a two out of three falls uh, match. Uh, we, like, I, I, I want to say that the match was... It was good. Not one of our best. It wasn't the it wasn't the greatest match, but you know whatever. Um, but it was very good. Uh, we had some good spots in there, but I know we were both worn out at the end. Like yeah. by the time with the end of it, we both got to the back. We just kind of crashed. You, yeah, you you sat down. I pretty much there's uh, rocks roll roll of rocks, and I was like. That looks comfy, and I just threw my whole body into it, and yeah. I just couldn't get up. And then, uh... Brittany comes into the back, and she's asking about birthday beats. Yeah, and then, um... I think you were more concerned about me. Obviously, I was more concerned about you. And, uh... <laughs> a classic us, not caring about ourselves. <laughs> if um, you're gonna do it, I'll do it. It was... It, it, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty much, much what it boiled down to. I think it was, uh worded a bit less comical. It was more of a bro moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was just... And I was talking because I went to Cheers on uh, Friday um, for our referee Jamie's birthday, so shout out to you, Jamie. Um, we'll talk, let's talk about him after we talk, we'll talk about, about this. this. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I was talking to Jazz... And I about that match. He's like, you guys were just spent at the end of that match. I don't know how you did the continuous chain of suplexes, 
uh, how you guys both took it. And I was like, dude, I'll tell you this much. He was motivating me. Uh, it wasn't like I had to go check up on him and be like, hey, dude, are you okay? I kept doing it. And then you're saying, dude, you're doing awesome. Keep going. And yeah. I was just like, how can you how can you stop after that no and um originally you were going to do them all yeah and uh about second to the last one i was like no dude yeah. do one more and then and then, and then, then stop go. and uh you're like are you sure i'm like yeah you do and the reason why i said that was one of two reasons i wanted something really really special for the last, last one. one and two i can feel your your breath yeah, and everything was yeah. getting really tired and I was like, yeah, you do one more. There's, it's all on me and my neck <laughs> for a birthday beat. And yeah, I, yeah. I don't think you would live with yourself no, if something went sideways no. on that one. I was like, no, do this one. That will allow you to rest and everything is fine and dandy. And uh, then Josh comes over and like okay, let's do a double suplex. And yeah. Clayton's hightailing it. He don't doesn't he, want no he, he wants part. Nothing to do. But with he it. did give me a suplex. His first suplex yeah. since breaking. We, we all applauded that. Yeah, that was a good one. Since breaking a Kranz. Kranz leg. He did it very well. Yeah, it was and very clean. He landed very well. And uh, oh, both that the. Dan couldn't be there. He 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 had to work early, so him Paul left. But uh, when we were doing the take suplex, give suplex, uh, you and I always started, mm. and uh, my routine is going from you. Then I have to go with Dan. I remember taking Dan's suplex after taking yours, and his stalled. And I remember after taking the suplex, I'm like, "Fuck Dan!" He's like, "What? What did I do?" I'm like. You fucking hanged it on me. I, I was expecting ground. I was like, yeah. where is the ground? Yeah. He does it very Triple H style. Yes, very, he's, very, he's, he's very, very he's, technical. He's very unexpectedly strong to, because he can, he, he, he's, he's done that suplex to like Paul, who's a pretty heavy set guy. Um, not in the sense of fat, but in the sense of, you know, he, he's, he's got weight to him. He's got stature. Yeah, yeah, and um, to see Paul, uh, Go who's, up who's also over. like six foot tall, in the, Dan's Dan is um, mighty mouse in that yeah, aspect. But, but uh, he was definitely one missed for the birthday. Birthday beat. beats for sure, for sure. But taking the suplexes and everything from you after, after that, and then taking the double suplex at the end, that was couldn't have been any. Couldn't have been the best way. Yeah. I couldn't think of any way to end it. Um, also, fun fact, uh, your dad. Yeah. C coming in. And, again, everything was unplanned. And I, I said sure. And he picked me up with ease. And I pretty much was in awe, but also tired. Yeah. And he spun me. And it didn't look like a lot if you watched the video, but... It, it must have felt like it, it, it felt well, a lot longer than what it was and then him just dropping me like I was a sack of potatoes uh, I was very humble it uh, was, and I told your dad that yeah uh, two weeks ago last yeah, time last time you were here and uh, you told me uh, you Facebook status that and all I can say is like I know his back trouble I know it, it, it retired him and I Part of me was like, what are you doing? But the other part of me, I, you can see it. If you see me on camera, I'm smiling because it's like... You're in awe. I'm it. in awe. It's like, how do you how do you stop that? Yeah. You don't. You just, you know, is. Yeah, at first I, I kind of felt like you were like wanting to stop him yeah. after he was like picking me up and was like, okay, I, I, I know. I didn't know about your dad's back troubles, but yeah. knowing me... I always try to do my best to protect the person yeah, I'm yeah, working absolutely, with, absolutely. as well as myself. So I was trying to make it easy on him, and your, your dad didn't quite have the right handling, but I was fine. I was just I didn't know what I was in for. Yeah. That was <laughs> thing. So when you're up on the shoulders, you can go one of two ways. Yeah. 
And I didn't know if your dad wanted to go back, so I was kind of positioning to make sure that I was going to protect his neck and everything. And then he forced me over the front, which was what made me humble, is that he was able to just kind of shimmy me, yeah. shimmy right off his shoulders with ease. There was no hiccup about it. But yeah, that, and again, the birthday beats was my idea. It has been long going for years. Yeah. And I just needed a uh, reason, excuse, and timing. And Brittany, again, was mad. We don't have funds for this. I was like, you know what? I can't rent the place out for just 30 minutes and have these guys beat me up. If I put on an event, then some people chip in for it, and that way the funds are not totally straining off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. And, and she's really cool after I talk to her, after my way of thinking, because I, I, I do admit, I do a lot of stuff without conversing with her. Mm -hmm. I, I'm working on it. It's, I'm a slow it's a learner. Work in progress. I'm a slow learner, but she's been very nice to me as to opposed to my previous exes that you've heard about throughout this, this uh, uh, part series that's almost, what, two and a half hours? Man, we gotta stop meeting. <laughs> yeah, I know. But this is like he was the supposed to be home an hour and a half ago. Yeah. Um. Yeah, th we were supposed to kind of fit you over too. Yeah. Well, there's next time. Yeah. Um. But that was a great way of ending last year. I'm looking forward to this year. Yeah. All the it's while, we're trying to uh, get funds for a ring. Yeah. Anybody that donates, it goes straight into an account that collects interest over time, which actually ends up giving me more money for the, well, for the giving way. us more money. Us. I'm sorry. It's all good, man. It's all I, good. I'm getting used to sharing. When 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 I really look at BFB, the first person I think of is is you and uh, Clay and Dozer, because um, uh, even though I played the character of a visitor, um, you know, it, 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 I was kind of in and out of. Uh, BFB, but I was always welcome back, open arms, and I'm happy to be here, um, taking on more responsibility and, and just, you know, kind of like an assistant, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really cool. No, and I, I appreciate it because, Regan, if there's anybody that I wanted to work with doing this stuff was with you ever since the Von Chan stuff. I right, wanted to right. be a part of your crew, I wanted to do more of the wrestling stuff, maybe dab into more of your guys' stunt acting. And, and that's stuff myself and Paul and Dan have talked about and we're like, it's just so logical now to have uh, Corey be a part of a lot of our skits and our stunts and anytime we are going to film, it's, it's we're going to phone you up and be like, hey dude, we're doing this and get over here <laughs> yeah and you know I'm down yeah and, yeah but that's for your Von Chan stuff this is BFB BFB um where we're going from here is again like I said still working forward towards the ring towards the ring and, um uh, next year I might be to... moving into a house so I might oh. be able to actually have a place to store the ring if we get it nice, so nice. I'm not I won't be in the basement suite hopefully there you go we've got you know hopefully expand the roster a little bit get maybe a couple people in even if it's not for every consecutive event we still have our core people um, which is you know myself you Dan Paul uh, yeah I'm hoping Paul comes yeah, back he, he, he said that um, not gonna say what we're, we're doing, we're, yeah, where yeah. we're going quite yet, but he's gonna say that one. He wants that to be the start of, you know, a lot of stuff for him. So I think he's he's really wants to train up for. And that that was one thing I want to touch before we end all this because it, the whole fallout from me with Von Chan was because of me and him. Mm -hmm. And I remember the one event where, not. It wasn't the tag match, the first event, but him actually trying to be involved. I could kind of feel the tension because of, I know in the back of his mind, what happened with that event. Mm -hmm. And 
I, I pretty much I, I told Paul and Joaquin that's in the past. Mm -hmm. This is a new slate. What's done is done. I yeah. can't be mad at you for it. I understand why you're mad. Yeah. It's it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And I, I guess ever since then, I, I kept I, I I still check in with Paul every so often mm -hmm. and ask him how he's doing and whatnot. And These guys stream and I'm not even there. That that goes to show. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want to play Destiny with us half the time, so... Well, you know... Priorities. Yeah. I play Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's really cool to see that, uh... You know, how far we've come, and, uh... I remember Ashley was talking about we should do something where... We just go out to, like, the Springs or something and have dinner. And just chill, like, the... the ca like, the, the, the roster crew. of BFB, the crew... And just just have a you know, al dinner. Al <laughs> dinner. So. Yeah. Well, know. then does that mean I have to bring all my masks and have dress up as butt half the time? And <laughs> you can have one. The uh, gremlin arm <laughs> sleeve on. You can have half of uh, Deadpool's or Deadhead's face with thriller makeup on this side. This side can just be pure butt. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll just you know do that. If, if that happens, we have to like go to Boston Pizza or something. Show up, be like, yeah, a table for twenty, and only eight people show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Why do you need twenty? Well, I'm four or five people. Yeah. He has two. He has two. No, it's two to be three because a cool guy. Oh, cool guy. Yes. Cool see, guy. see what I'm gonna do is gonna put some shades on my uh, my fist. Yes. It's gonna be cool yeah. guy. I'm gonna wear a luchador mask. Here's the kicker: this part is gonna be where the f the, the head should go. Okay. But so see, it's supposed to go this way, but I'm gonna turn it backwards, and this side is gonna be open. <laughs> so it's Vic Boss okay. here, Toro okay. here, cool and guy, cool guy right, right here. So boom, <laughs> I've got it all. I've got it all worked out. So, boom, boom. You know that that is how we start the gaming videos. <laughs> Oh, that's freaking how I you announce. Uh, I, I announce uh, freaking boom. Yeah, when you you guys start streaming, yep. that's my first thing, and yeah. and then I started noticing that's how you guys start your <laughs> then it's everything. Just like, it's just like it clicks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun, but yeah, I'm I've, I'm pretty much uh, done with my uh, yeah. This has been the history of Thriller and Big Boss over the course of. I want to... 2008? 2000, yeah, 2008. 2008 till 2016. Eight years. Yeah. Eight years of wrestling history, storylines, injuries, uh, backstories. Heated, real heat. False heat. Heat, um, heat from the heater. Yeah. But yeah, we, we've been down, up, up and down every... Uh, avenue. avenue, highway, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it's good that we can sit beside each other, call each other brothers, yep. and family. Uh, family. I mean, uh, you, you, there's just no other way we can no. put it, because uh, that's uh, that doesn't do it justice. Uh, absolutely not. So uh, we'll uh, end it. <sighs> With the handshake. With the handshake. My hands are a little sweaty. I apologize. Ah, it's okay. I'm, I'm like sweating up the storm here. Yeah. So it, it's 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 hard talking with you for like five hours. It's not tiring because we do the handshake, but it's it's it's, it's, it's difficult. I mean, yeah, we've been here from this is like three thirty or something. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Crike. And this is only part two. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna be writing part three this year and on. Yes. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys in the new in in the new year. I know it's kind of weird to say that now yeah. since it's uh, already. it's already it's already a month old, more than a month. A month and a half. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that being said, take care, guys, and uh, I'll let you finish. Make make sure you uh, keep your eyes open for uh, the next event, wherever it's going to be called. Uh, the artwork is coming down the line, and card will be finalized.
I'll start promoting that as soon as it is. And uh, likewise, we'll uh, we'll get her done. Thank you. And if there's more, there will be more. Absolutely. Have a good night. See ya.